were you is it true that you used to be a former republican dude this was before i was any kind of public figure so what is that tr is it true that you used to be a registered republican absolutely <gasps> people can change. are you serious I what believe in changing i believe in changing. interesting wait you switched to being a democrat just so you could run against the candidate that already btfo'd your mom in the same race Oof. That sounds okay, really so griftery, wait, dude. Wait Apparently, you raised over fifty k. Shit. First of all, I raised over a hundred k. Holy look fuck! It up. This guy raised over a hundred k by just switching you know, to being a Democrat. And do you sounds know like something you a grifter know, would do. You know do. I raised, you know I so what's up, everybody? Today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite, Mike from PA. Apparently. We got into a little uh, tiff. I actually have opening notes that I've written because I want to make sure that I'm very precise with my position here. Okay. So let's talk about the Pledge of Allegiance. Most of you know by now that I'm no fan of nationalism. And the Pledge of Allegiance plays right into that. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines the Pledge of Allegiance as a promise of loyalty to the United States of America. Considering how widespread the pledge is, considering it's done almost daily at virtually every school, and considering you'll be called a traitor for refusing to stand for the pledge, I think it's safe to assume that this can lead to a blind loyalty and love of your country and an aversion to criticism of your country. In short, the beginnings of nationalism. I think most moderates, who are open to criticism of America as well, view the flag as representing one country under God with liberty and justice for all. This is literally what the pledge says. This means that even those moderates who may be open to hearing valid criticism of America will misunderstand the purpose behind burning the American flag. Leftists perceive the flag as representing the country as a whole, and oftentimes find a pledge focused on justice for all hypocritical when this country doesn't always fulfill those promises. This is a valid criticism, but burning the flag does not accurately communicate that criticism. When moderates see the flag being burned, they see it as an attack on liberty and justice for all, and in turn, you diminish the potential for growing your movement and appealing to a valuable voter bloc who could agree with you if you communicated your points better. Symbols are only as valuable as what they communicate, and if they are only communicating your point to your own group who already agree with you, you need a new symbol. This is why ACAB is also a stupid slogan with a potentially valuable underlying message, but the symbol fails to communicate the message. So now that it's clear why both the Pledge of Allegiance and burning the flag are cringy, this gives better nuance to why I tweeted what I tweeted yesterday and got myself in some hot water, which was burning the American flag is equally as cringy as pledging allegiance to it. In hindsight, I shouldn't have said equally, because this is like comparing apples to oranges and you can't quantify cringe. Now, I did delete this tweet because my message didn't accurately communicate my position. However, I do stand by the general point behind my tweet that both pledging allegiance to the flag and burning the flag are generally pretty cringy. Now, if we could quantify cringe, the scale at this point would be broken because Along comes Mike from PA. You can disagree with my take all day, but Mike, you, my friend, have lied about me a lot. So I have some receipts here and we're going to go through them together. So the first thing he did to call me out was say, former fascist. And notice how former is in quotes, because what he's really getting at is that I'm still a fascist. Even though I was never even a fascist to begin with, but no. To this guy, I'm I'm still this crazy fascist, even though I never really was a fascist. I mean, I was pretty, pretty right wing, but I don't know if I would consider myself a fascist. This is why if you were out there doing anti-SJW compilations two years ago, shut the fuck up and learn for a bit. Let's go over Mike from PA. Let's watch his call out of yours truly. Now, you might remember I called out Mike from PA a little while ago when he claimed that he was against charity when Vosh raised a bunch of money to help 
Palestinian children. Remember that really bad faith, disingenuous attack? I called him out and he was really mad about it. Apparently, apparently he's still salty because he's made this video on me. And uh, he mentions the fact that I like called him out. Good multiple times it i think it's i think it's eating him to away a topic that i saw pop up uh-huh pop up on my uh on my timeline right right when i was uh preparing for the stream and it was so fucking cringe cringe <laughs> that i had to reply Oh no, he deleted it. What a yep. little rat. Oh, he deleted it. Wait, if you I'm confused. How does that make me a rat? If you thought it was a bad take and then I deleted it, wouldn't you kind of be like glad over all that I took the take down? Oh no. I'm glad he listened to me. I'm glad he listened to me and shut the fuck up. Oh, wait. So am I a rat for deleting it, or am I legit for deleting it because I listen to you? Is this Mike admitting to being a rat himself? I. This is some meta shit. <laughs> Damn, Mike. Maybe, like, look at how it sounds compared. It's <laughs> Okay. But we're still going to call him out. All right, we're still going to get called out, everybody. Chat. When you are a gamer gator, like this Hunter Avalon little, little fucker, I was not a gamer gator, just to be honest. Uh, just to be clear, I didn't do stuff involving gamer gate. I think I was – wasn't that in 2014 when that happened? I was still on the cusp of, like, the gamer gate, gamer gate hype. But this is just the beginning of many inaccuracies, and we're going to get into all of it and more. If you're okay pledging – so he said – okay, he deleted the tweet. Oh, I should have taken a picture. Fuck. I didn't realize he was going to – he was going to cave so hard immediately. What is it? Wait, is it good that so I took it down? Is it because I got it from... Is it? Is it good because I'm influenced from you? Apparently I took your good advice? Or are you mad that I took it down because I caved to the pressure or something? Name Hunter Avalon. I don't know if you guys have ever, have ever seen this person before. Um, he was famous as one of the biggest gamer gators. I'm not sure what so that he, means. So he gained prominence as one of the biggest gamer gators on YouTube. In fact, he was working with Turning Points USA. At some points, yes. Penn State Group denounces controversial speakers brought in by Turning Point chapter. Chapter. Okay. This was back on October of 2019. October of 2019. So this is not years and years and years ago. This is a couple years ago. Right? Penn State chapter of Turning Point USA, a conservative organization dedicated to organizing university students for voting freedom, is bringing two speakers to campus that university leaders are publicly denouncing. Conservative YouTube personalities Hunter Avalon and Carl Benjamin, who goes by Sargon of Akkad online, have been banned from Twitter for their derogatory and hateful comments about various groups. So, wow. Okay. Uh, uh, Avalon is a former Christian conservative blogger who released a notorious video called The Truth About Transgenders, in which he opposed gender confirmation sur surgery. He also released a number of videos in which he mocks and ridicules LGBT activists, transgender bathroom controversies, leftists, and third-wave feminism. And by the way, this, uh, this little rat made a video about me. All right, so let's pause it here. Um, so you can just tell exactly what he's doing here, which is trying to poison the well. Listen to how Hunter was apparently doing speeches with Sargon of Akkad. Ooh, scary, spooky. He leaves out a lot of really vital information here. And it's really strange, but not really, because it's about what I would expect uh, from the researching abilities from this guy. Let's go ahead and look at a different article Keep in mind that this article was published. Hold on. You show it, I believe, right? So that was October 23rd. This is October 24th, after the speech had actually taken place. It's interesting how Mike presents this information as, here's Hunter Avalone. 
he went up there with Sargon of Akkad with TP USA and then was talking about transgender people being bad. That's not what happened at all. If you had actually read what happened with the speech, when an article came out after the speech had taken place, not just when the campus denounced previous old comments I made, you can see that Avalone addressed the growing trend in conservatives playing victim regarding censorship. His speech addresses big tech censorship and claimed that it was not a free speech issue. This was my first falling out with the alt-right. This speech was my notorious speech where I said conservative big tech censorship is very much blown out of proportion. It's a victim narrative. And to this day, I still stand by that position and still get shit for it. So the fact that he would frame it as hunters with TPUSA speaking with Sargon, he leaves out the vital information that the point of doing a speech on how censorship isn't happening the way that we're being told on an event about censorship that's supposed to be all about, like, people being censored. That was this fucking smart-ass move right there. I dropped that speech in front of a bunch of conservatives. Like, what's no... That's so... That's such an effective method right there. And you leave out the fact that... Oh, look, nice... This this nice quote. YouTube is like communism. Everyone suffers equally. <laughs> this is like a middle finger to Mike from PA to Mike from CCP from the past. This we're on some trippy Charles Dickens bullshit here. They go on to explain how I said it's not in YouTube's best interest to remove conservative channels and then you leave the fact that Benjamin, Carl Benjamin, Sargon of Akkad was introduced after Avalon and he had a completely different viewpoint. Me and Sargon were at odds here. We were arguing with each other. So this is just like an entirely dishonest framing of these, this, this chain of events. I don't know, maybe this is just my own history. Maybe I should do something in incognito, hold on. When you search me and then go to news, I don't even know where the Hunter Avalon was denounced article is. The first article that comes up is this one, where it explains what my speech was about and that it was against playing the victim arguing with Sargon of Akkad. Oh, good God. How do you butcher information this badly? I don't know if he's bad faith or just this fucking dumb. Denounces controversial speakers brought in by Turning Point chapter. chapter. Also, yeah, of course they're going to denounce me because th the event was being very much advertised as a right-wing event. So it was being protested and the Penn State said, yeah, we don't like that they said these controversial things. I have said controversial things about trans people in the past, back in like 2016, 2017, that I have since very heavily denounced and debunked on this channel. But we'll we'll get into that shortly. Let's continue. This was back on October of 2019. October of 2019. What was the speech about, Mike? So this is not years and years and years ago. This is a couple years ago. What was the speech about, right? Mike? Penn State chapter of Turning Point What's USA, a tiff, a Mike? conservative organization dedicated to organizing oh, wait, university. Oh, I went back. Oops. Rat made a video about me. I did make a video about him. In case you did, you don't need to go watch it, but I just want you to know he's still <laughs> yes. doing the same shit. Wait, what? Wait. What do you mean I'm still doing the same shit? Calling you out is the equivalent of posting transphobic content. Really, Mike? Is this? How bad do you want these victim points? Shit, dude. He's just doing the same shit that he always does. Calling out Mike from PA for being a disingenuous loser. Making transphobic content that I've since heavily denounced and debunked. How are these things still the same, Mike? Burning the American flag is equally as cringy as pledging allegiance to it. Now, chat, this is what these anti-SJWs do. Their notice number how, one... Notice how he's still just calling me an anti-SJW. He's saying I'm still a fascist. There's like not an ounce of not even charitability, but just understanding here. There's not an ounce of it given. Move is to say my intellectual opponent is cringe. 
That's step. This is teenage boy logic, by the way. So the first thing you want to do is say, this guy is cringe or this person is cringe. You're not cool. Okay, so un avoid the fact that this is like a non-argument and I don't know why he's so upset that I said something is cringe. Like, I guess is that... I, I don't know, but whatever. Uh, more importantly, we're going to write this down together, okay? Because I want to remember this one. Mike of the word cringy, okay? We're going to go ahead and put a little underline and a big old bold on that. If you agree with them... You're cringe. Now, why does that work on teenagers? Because teenagers are desperate to be validated by their peers, and they have low <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> okay, so just projection. Just putting that one out there. A anyone who knows anything about Mike from PA knows that that fucking it right there is projection. Hardcore. Holy so shit, The number dude. one thing you Come can on. do to try to convince a teenager is that agreeing with said position is cringe. I mean, he started when he was literally a, a teenager. He started making his videos literally as a teenager. That's why Hunter Avalon did so well, because he was in the teenager brain space of like, if you disagree with me, I will just call you cringe. And this is like such a total lack of understanding of how any of my content was or st or is like, this is bizarre. Like it's, I feel like, his understanding of me is like what a friend of a friend of a friend told him. But that friend of a friend of a friend was like super like far left or something. <laughs> I mean, this is he, he has no real understanding of any of my content. Still doing it. And he's still doing it to the left. Now, let me tell you something, chat. I may you may think that a cab or mm -hmm. abolish the police or defund the police or burning the American flag is not the most effective means to convince a suburban white moderate. Uh huh? You know what? You're right. So what? <laughs> our entire politics and all our rhetoric does not need to be oriented. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going to stop right there because no one said all your rhetoric must be like this to appeal to this person. But what do you mean who cares? Does... Does Mr. Mike over here not realize what a incredibly privileged perspective that is? Obviously, optics aren't everything, and I agree that you should not compromise your values for the sake of optics. But if you're trying to appeal to a broad group of people, those points need to be communicated well. It is. It kind of goes without saying that the more people involved in your movement the more change you are likely to see. I think that we can reasonably assume that, right? If furthermore, white suburban people make up a large voting block and they're in more powerful positions to actually enact change. I think a great example of this is Black Lives Matter. Back in 2013 when it started, it was kind of like not really known very well. Of course, it was a beginning movement, but now, 2021, the entire nation is aware of Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter pushing these racial issues into the national spotlight has literally led to this current administration enacting certain policies to try and alleviate symptoms of systemic racism. Because the movement was able to gain power by appealing to large groups of people, including moderates, we're actually seeing real material change for some of these people. I mean, this is the ultimate privileged white boy perspective right here. <laughs> the ultimate. And not even that. Thankfully, I did a little bit of research, something that Mike from PA slipped up on doing. And uh, that's really odd, Mike. I'm wondering why you're saying that now to get brownie points to your audience when I've heard you say something that sounds kind of like you agree with my take, not the tweet. But at least my explanation given, and that's but 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 the ACAB thing, like you're saying, Mike, do you do do you say ACAB? And I I personally wouldn't because I'm trying to get actual progressive politicians elected, and I recognize that for normies, mm -hmm. ACAB is so world shaking, mind bending of a statement to make to them that they're going to rebel. And you know why that is? Because working as a police officer is one of the few remaining Sounds jobs. Sounds like you agree you with do. my take, uh -huh. Mike. 
from like a poor or middle class background where they get a secure pay, they get benefits. So they probably know some police officers in their family or extended family. Cool. So if I come up to them and say, hey, white person, a cab, I'm probably alienating people that I could win over. That's all. OK, telling... we both agree then we're both. Wait, anti- Mike, that's my take. And that's a complete contradiction to what you literally just said here. I mean, you may think that a cab or abolish the police or defund the police or burning the American flag is not the most effective means to convince a suburban white moderate. You know what? You're right. So what? These two statements are not the same from one. I wouldn't say a cab because it alienates a group that could potentially be on my side. I want to get things done. I want to see real change. That's what you say to destiny as as early as 2019, <gasps> right back in 2019. And now all of a sudden, you just who cares? You just don't care. Oh, yeah. And keep in mind, I'm apparently the professional grifter, the guy that can't even give his keep his opinion straight, depending on who he's fucking having a conversation with. Give me a break, Mike, you spineless fucking weasel. Some of it needs to be about activating and agitating the people that are being oppressed. Not everything needs to revolve around your white suburban ass. See how he's doing that? See how he's putting those qualifiers in? Not everything has to, of course, not everything you ever utter should appeal to the white moderates or whatever. But when you're trying to push for real change, when you're trying to push for policies, and when you're trying to push for certain officials to be elected, you don't want to alienate moderates who otherwise might be on your side by screeching a cab or burning the American flag. It's that simple. The capital, fuck you. And the other thing is, I gotta tell you that this is a position that's shared with Donald Trump. (gasps) This is a position that is pathetic. Oh no, wait, what? And you know, we ought to do something, Mr. Senators. We have two great senators. We ought to come up with legislation that if you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year. He's saying my opinion and Donald Trump's opinion here are the same. Mike, do you want to watch this again? This is why we wrote this down earlier. Mike heavily emphasizes and criticizes my use of the word cringy. Now, listen, cringy is not the same as you should go to prison. Saying something is cringy is not the same as saying something should be illegal. Mike, you yourself made fun of my use of the word cringy. I think we know that Something being cringy isn't the same as me saying something is or should be made illegal. These are wildly, wildly different statements. I am not advocating to lock people up for being cringy. And believe me, my dude, if I was, you would be getting a life sentence. Not to mention, I've been consistent on this position. But you have to remember that Mike, he doesn't really do any of the research, right? So here's a video from June 22nd, 2020. If you burn the American flag, you go to jail for one year. One year. So this happened very recently. I saw it on Twitter. And as soon as I watched this clip, I was so incredibly disappointed. I don't think burning the flag is appropriate. I think it's douchey and rude. And I think that the people who do it tend to be stupid little rat weasels. So I get it. I don't like burning the American flag, and I understand that there are a lot of people here that are trying to be patriotic, so they take offense when people burn the flag as well. However, it is your freedom of speech, it is your freedom of expression, it is your constitutional right to burn the American flag because it is a political statement. I mean, this is just ridiculous, and it really- Okay, so there you go. I've been consistent on this position, as you can see. Could it have been worded better on Twitter? Of course, absolutely. But overall, I have been consistent on this position. So for Mike from PA to dishonestly try and frame it as if I share a position with Donald Trump as extreme as locking people up for burning the American flag simply because I said it was cringy 
is bizarre. Second of all, I said both were cringy. So by that logic, am I advocating to lock people up for doing the Pledge of Allegiance also? I don't know if Mike from PA is actually just like maybe mentally handicapped or perhaps he's just this disingenuous. I, I don't know. But so far, everything he's done here has been trying to poison the well and he's just continuously lying about me. Everything you don't like isn't cringe, you little baby brain teenager. Why don't you go back to Penn State and talk about the truth about transgenders? He's lying again. Listen to that. I didn't do a speech on trans people. And if you had done any research, the first article that comes up clarifies what I did a speech on. You yourself said it was on censorship. This lying scumbag was doubling down on this very statement. Even on Twitter. This snake was literally at Turning Point USA events at the end of 2019 attacking transgender people, has a real change of heart, and immediately attacks leftists with the exact same videos. But he's a leftist, I promise. I'm not even a leftist. I'm like a sock dem centrist type. But even so, what the fuck is this? How do you butcher information this hard? Dude, I'm telling you, if... If he's butchering this information this badly, I wonder what other details he's constantly getting fatally wrong. The shit is Why don't you go back to mocking LGBT activists and transgender bathroom controversies, leftist and third wave feminism. It's the only reason anybody knows how you, who you the fuck you are. He's just like In an area shit. where college campuses are way too sensitive and trigger warnings are common, okay, he said, we know, Turning dude. Point wants we, to promote I, open I, dialogue. Transgenders are cringe. Now he's saying, I'm a leftist now. Uh, you can't hold me accountable for all that stuff I was profiting from two years ago. Wait, and I still have again, videos. Oh my God, why is everything this guy said? Everything he says is just like putting a position on me. I, I think he has like a caricature of me in, in his head. And that's just like what he's attacking right now. What are now? Uh, you can't hold me accountable for all that stuff I was profiting from two years ago. <laughs> when? First of all, it was not two years ago. Okay, by then my content was greatly like evolving and changing, and I had been making many more pro uh, LGBT stances, and I was fighting with the alt right about the censorship thing. So that's not even true. Second of all, when did I say you can't criticize me? No one's been more critical of my past content than me. When did I say you can't criticize me? And I still have videos up generating me money. You can't criticize me for all the videos I have up still generating me money and putting out propaganda where I smear people. You can't criticize that. Oh, I've changed. I've changed in no significant way, but I want you to give me credit. No significant way. There you guys, there you guys have it. To this guy... Me being pro-LGBT or not being pro-LGBT, it doesn't matter because I don't pass his little purity check. It's absolutely disgusting. And that's why I have already done more to pull people away from the far right than this little fuckwit ever has and ever will. I want you to treat me like I'm I'm reformed because I'm now... Look never at my said, popular uploads. Never said you have to treat me Amy like I'm Schumer is a total mo Also, I guess he cut it out. At one point, he tried to search up my truth about transgender video and then couldn't find it and then just, like, brushed on past it. Where if he had actually gone to YouTube, instead of, like, typing it in Google, if he had gone to YouTube and searched this, look. Hunter. Oh, wait. You know what? We'll do it in incognito. Hunter Avalon. Truth about transgenders. Now, granted, he probably would have seen this just off the title and gone, look, 11 months ago, and wouldn't have actually clicked it to see, Man, wait, what is this? I'm so bored. What can I do wait, that's really- Wait, is this me? Oh, wait, it's me debunking my normal. video. Normal, millionaires aren't normal. Having a college degree, but this, Dr. Paul McHugh guy is a complete fucking loser. He has no idea what he's talking about. And the fact that I actually cited him in my video is embarrassing. Plus what this- Okay, so again, if he had simply typed in his YouTube search bar, 
Hunter Avalon, truth about transgenders. He would have seen that those views had long been denounced. <clears throat> 11 months ago, I had debunked that video. <laughs> but no, he doesn't want to mess up the, the caricature he has in his head of me. Did I miss the... Where's my thing? Okay. Moron. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez <clears throat> is an idiot. Man-hating feminist video goes horribly wrong. When feminists do stand-up comedy. Angry racist won't talk to white people. Trolling the women's march. Still profiting from that shit, man. Okay, really? Let's, let's actually, let's, uh, let's, let's check that one out, Mike. What's this look like, buddy? Okay. Here's the video. Here's the details. Go into your mon my monetization. I turned it off. I literally have the monetization on this video turned off. What was the other one? Man-hating feminist. I have the monetization again turned off. I haven't been like profiting off these old videos still. I've deleted a ton of content on my channel. 20 million plus views I've removed from my channel. It, I cannot just nuke my entire channel to appease your purity test, Mike. I'm sorry, but your claim that I'm profiting off these old videos is just, it's not true. And you know who he also attacked and called cringe? You won't have to scroll far to find it. You won't have to scroll far to find it. He literally took Tucker Carlson as it. He did the same exact thumbnail that he did for AOC, but flipped it with Tucker Carlson. So? He's a mercenary. He's a mercenary. Wait, is this really what he's saying? Because I made a video on AOC. Again, I'm allowed to criticize people that are on the left still. The fact that he's saying I haven't changed because there's a video up talking about AOC. I'm sorry. I have taken down a shit ton of videos, especially the ones that I found to be like really bad. The AOC one. I mean, this is really getting absurd at this point. This is like, you don't agree with me on every aspect of politics, therefore you're still a right-wing fascist. Oh, Mike from PA is a disingenuous loser. True. Yes. Base you gotta, take. You gotta more, more, because, uh, and then he put Vouch in the thumbnail, and me. Yeah. See, back in 2013, I was fighting for this shit. I was fighting for LGBT rights while you were a child, you little fuck. So what? What does that mean? And also, it's really funny that you keep bringing up when you were just a boy. Yeah, well then, can you explain this one to us, uh, uh, Mikey boy? How come back in 2014 you were still a Republican? How come you were still a registered Republican? How come when you ran for, was it the House? House seat. You switched your party affiliation from Republican to Democrat. I think he might be a grifter, guys. I think that he realized, you know what, this Gamergate thing might be a little bit like popping off right now, but I think it's only a matter of time till the left rises up. I think Mike from PA might have been a grifter. I mean, his mom was literally a Republican who ran again, Justin Simmons. And then after she lost to him, Mike from PA switched his party affiliation to run against Justin Simmons, the guy that had beat his mom in 2010. For him to be like, former fascist all right fine well mike from pa former republican like we could go that route or we could accept the fact that people can change mike do we want to go to let's go to another one because he keeps on bringing up the fact that i used to make this content or something then why is it mike that uh you said to destiny on your debate multiple times you were against cancel culture but, and this is this is what I've always said because I'm not part, I'm not a canceler. I don't cancel wait, wait, wait. people. What do we? Fact, you yourself said that you're not a fan of cancel culture. I'm not either. No, no, no. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. So sure. But 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 I'm using. Okay, so there's multiple occasions. Mike from PA. See, in defense, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in favor of cancel culture when it's convenient for him. And now all of a sudden he seems really intent on like trying to find something problematic from my past that he can then like used to incriminate me. I don't know. It just seems like you're trying to cancel me a little bit, Mike. Sounds like something a canceler would do. A cringy canceler would do this. He would take down his Gamergate videos. I he hasn't down changed. A bunch he likes of that them. money to flow in. He likes that ad rev. Videos aren't monetized. We already looked at it on stream. I want to teach you stuff for real. These fuckers don't want to teach you. 
They just want to <laughs> spout dumbass shit. You hear that? And if you want to understand how far right that is, this is the case that legalized. And here he the goes flag. again. Nope. Here he goes again. And then off to this big virtue signaling tangent on how substantial the case was that we were able to allow it to be freedom of speech to burn the flag. Something that I was not against, something I never said, something you yourself criticized the use of my word cringy that has nothing to do with making it illegal. What a disingenuous Conservative attack. freak on these dumbass opinions. But when you pretend to be a leftist and you're sitting there, I've you're never called myself a leftist. Dick is I'm a le But he has, uh, he's doubled down like significantly on these takes even more so. So like, then he tries to call me out for this and tries to find like a joke I made in 20, in June of 2020. Sounds like something a canceler would do. Damn. Feminist stand-up comedy. Three words that just don't belong in the same sentence. It's like Islam and gay rights. It just, it doesn't go together. It doesn't okay, work. So now on this channel, we have talked about feminist stand-up. So that right there was kind of what he was he was getting at. And you know what? In hindsight, I will I will say that um, you know, I, I recognize that that joke isn't great. I think that it contributes to a harmful stereotype of an already marginalized group. So would I make a joke like that today? No. But part of something you have to understand, Mike, and this is something I've said very frequently, when you're changing and your viewpoints are developing, and you're kind of documenting that on your channel, it is going to be a process. I didn't wake up one day and have a switch in my head change where all of a sudden all my positions were just different. It's funny that you're accusing me of, of not changing enough, whereas other people accuse me of becoming a soy boy leftist cuck. It's like no matter what I do, I don't know. It's just this doesn't prove that I'm a grifter. If anything, the fact that I'm willing to admit that I wouldn't make a joke like that now and that a joke like that isn't good and is irresponsible, somehow that means I'm a grifter. What I would say today, the kind of joke I would make today would be, uh, it's like religion and gay rights. They just don't go together. Um, and then, oh yeah, he, he tries to claim I'm a grifter because I'm selling merchandise that says I melt snowflakes. I call people on the right snowflakes all the time. Mike from PA is getting on. Hello. Hello, Mike from PA. You know how long I wanted to ask you what a tiff is? And now uh, I'm finally here able to talk to you and ask you to your face. <laughs> I think you're going to go with Vouch community memes. Do you really want to know? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not going to go with. You. No, I'm not going to go with Vouch community memes. I, I'm more interested I, in. And what, by the way, I'm more interested I, if you did any research at all before making that little stream segment on me, because it was some of the most poorly researched uh, content I think I'd it's ever almost seen. Almost like the video you made against me, Hunter. Some of what you said was just like, so entirely right? factually incorrect. Factually so, incorrect. What yeah. You, so, okay. for example, what do you think All my right, hold on, wait, hold wait, wait? On. What do you think my begin, speech at Penn begin, State was before, was before about? Before we begin, before we begin, you start yelling about whatever you slight you feel that you've been slighted. Could you, for the audience, explain kind of what you think your politics is today? I consider myself kind of a social democrat. So when you say social, social democrat, do you mean the traditional definition of it that you'll find on Wikipedia, which is a socialist who believes in a democratic transition? No, when I say social democrat, I mean like I want like stronger social safety nets, but I think we can still work so within our current system. you mean more like a system. social liberal or like a liberal? Maybe like a more of a liberal, yeah. I, I guess I would consider okay. myself more of a, a social democrat or... I now, guess would you say you're fixed? Would but you I'm say not. You're fixed hold on. I'm not interested in talking yourself? about my positions here because. Wait. What do you mean? This is what this is about. No, it's you're not. It's about changed. the fact that wait, you made wait, a segment on me. You, wait. You're saying you've changed and you should get a benefit of the doubt. Wait. 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 There we go again. You're lying you're already. When did I say I should have a benefit of the doubt? This is what I mean. Is why you don't know about so me. You. I don't think you understand who I am. Because. That's why I'm asking you right now. I'm trying to clear it up for misapprehension of the audience. I think a lot of your audience thinks of you someone who was on the alt-right uh -huh. and who transitioned to a, we don't really know yet, because you're, again, when I asked you what you were, you changed already in this conversation from a social democrat, now you're a social liberal. No, stop, stop, okay. Right. No, 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 you're oh, yeah. already being super bad faith and I, I, I don't appreciate this, okay? So we're gonna go through <laughs> okay. the claims you made directly all about I me. All I asked you, Hunter, all I asked you was what your positions are. 
by the standards of the way that we define what a social democrat is, I would definitely fall under that definition. When you That's say why we, I tell people in a general, in an American sense, I am a social democrat. On an online sense, I would be more of a centrist. That's what I've said, and I've said that consistently. But we're not here to talk about that right now. We're first going to talk about your segment. We're going to go through it a little bit and talk about some of these things. The first thing being, you've said multiple times that my speech at Penn State was on uh, transgender people attacking transgender That's individuals. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I said you, you were didn't say that. With, I, if you can read what I said in the tweet, and I'll read it out loud for everybody, is that you were with. Turning Points USA. You were going to Turning Points USA stuff as recently as 2019. What do you think my speech was about then? And you guys were discussing deplatforming, and they had a conspiracy theory about deplatforming. Mm -hmm. And you said, "Well, I don't think that the right is unfairly targeted." Which, to give you, did you know that, that when you made the you segment? Were right. But that's not. Wait, did you know that, that when you change, made the segment on me change though? Doesn't significantly anything I'm saying. Are yes, it does. No, I'm not because you're because you're just you're you being so dishonest right because now. Because you were with Turning Points USA, you were allied with the far right as recently as 2019, and you no, were making that's wrong. anti left wing videos. I went and shook, looked at your catalog because I've been told you've changed, and within the mm -hmm. last year, you have a whole catalog of anti leftist, anti feminist, all sorts of you know. First of all, Gamer there was Gate X esque content. You know, attacking people for, you know, basically. Okay, doing so the right Kiwi here, buddy, farms, on Twitter, you say shit. this snake all, why was literally. Let me finish. I'm going to keep talking when you, when you, okay. when you're not. Can, I, me can I read my tweet? So you do can the I Kiwi the tweet, Farms please? lol cow shit. You have your top videos are not, all attacking people like AOC. Which, by the way, weren't monetized. So there's they that. Were, they, okay, they were limited monetization. We just saw it earlier on your show that they were, in fact, monetized, but go, you know, Google and YouTube. No, I on. demonetized. Those and you videos. I turned off the monetization. Video, one no, video, but both then of them. On the other videos that we could see, right on this, we could go back to the vod, to the vod, and we can look and see that they were limited uh, monetization. We're already and getting that's what so happens off subject. When you discuss when you discuss politics on on YouTube, they often demonetize that because a lot of a lot. Of You're literally saying things back to me that I just said in this segment. It's obvious that you sat here and watched it and then refined what, what you were going to say. So let me ask you this. No, you made it. Is so this you tweet yours? Did you me. say you this? You this snake was literally at a... Man, okay, you're I, actually confronting what I'm actually saying. I have, having trouble dealing with what I'm actually saying, which is you have put out and continue to have harmful content. Maybe you should talk to some of like your what? new friends like what? about the anti-feminist stuff. And you saying that you are the... No, see, you're not doing, you're not attacking feminists. See, you're doing a advanced critique, uh, offsetting liberal feminism from true socialist feminism. But you're not a socialist, so why no, are I'm you? No, I'm saying there's a difference the between oh, real feminist of, efforts of versus pop feminism. feminism. But we've already moved off because you've denied <laughs> making this claim and you have lied about it, and then you're not letting me actually read shit. your tweet. I didn't lie anything. Go ahead. You said see that if you have reading comprehension. This snake was literally at Turning Point USA events at the end of 2019, attacking transgender people. Yeah. So yeah. do you know what my speech at Penn State was about? Were you attacking transgender people in 2019? Yes. No. Right? Are you sure about that? Yes. I've are, okay. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'd already taken down my Truth About Transgenders video. And that's why when you tried to search for it on your, on your live stream, because I saw the VOD, you couldn't find it. Because it's been taken down. And if you had actually gone on my channel. Yeah, but okay. But hold when on. was it posted? When was the truth about transgender? In 2016. Posting? At the very no, beginning no. Oh, of 2016. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's right. You were attacking transgender people. You were being brought in to. So, you okay. So, your gotcha is you were not. That video was old. And you made a new video mm -hmm. recently about the truth of transgenders. I've made another video 11 months ago called The Truth About Transgenders. 11 months ago. Debunking. So Hold on, wait, you're not letting me what finish. What year was that? What year was that? Mike, yeah. this video was debunking my notorious transgender video, okay? I'm going through explaining why the video, the original video was so wrong. So when would you say you transitioned from being alt-right or, or right-wing? I mean, what, I, what I was even defending like trans people. Um, now granted, probably not as well as I could have been, um, but I was even defending transgender people back in, like, the end of – when was the Jessica Yaniv thing? Because I – hold on. Let me, I'm going through my channel to try to so find like, out. So, like, okay, but so I think what you're – so your point about the – so you really want to have a debate with me over the exact 
month where you made a specific well, about no, what I No, that's the opposite of it. I, it's just that you're you're lying about me, right? So that's the first thing that I wanted to clear up is that you're saying that I'm at Penn pedantic. State attacking transgender people, but that's not true. But you were in, you were invited to Penn State by Turning Points because you were a famous alt right YouTuber, right? That's wrong. No, I was invited to TPUSA for a censorship event where I then talked about how conservative censorship isn't happening, which led to my massive fallout with the alt right and got so me they, attacked by people they like Mark Dice. Turning Points USA invite you because they the didn't know that because I hadn't actually. Oh, they didn't know. So you were invited because you were an alt right. Wait, wait, wait. I, w I was still labeled myself a conservative at that time. Yeah, that's that's everyone okay. knew that. I hadn't actually made and my formal announcement about yourself? leaving the right, now, but I was. This hold is on, your but fans I was. Know this, but I want for my fans and other people that watch this. When did you stop labeling yourself conservative publicly? If you um, could. in the beginning of 2020, I think it was in March. So. The that was public, but I was already my, fighting the with the right a ton throughout okay. 2019. So your so your problem is is that you weren't actually attacking transgender people at that event, but you were attacking transgender people up until basically 2020. Just no, that false event, again. Okay, but, okay. I stopped my stopped? I I listen. My stances and opinions on trans people started changing more and more behind the scenes, and that's reflective in my content. You can go so back you to see credit for something you did. I'm not asking publicly. for credit. See how you keep pivoting to that? I'm not asking for credit here. I'm just explaining. Well, you're saying that I lied about you when I when I'm my yes trust because is you, you said public you said I was at a Turning Point USA okay. event at the end of 2019 attacking transgender people. Your claim there is that at the end of 2019, so very recently. Hunter was attacking trans people. That is your claim, and your claim is wrong. And I think when that you should you concede stop that. When did you attacking trans people? When did you? I mean, I can. Gosh, I guess I can go through your fucking entire YouTube catalog. Why don't you just concede that you were wrong uh, here in this in this claim, and we can move on to the next cover, the next part of the conversation? The claim. You, the claim was you were literally at a turning you point you, turning point USA, USA events at the end of 2019, attacking trans people. That's right. And That's I right. didn't attack trans people at that event. The opposite. At that point, by this time, just so you know, by this point, okay, I had made videos attacking anti-vaxxers. I had made videos defending trans people very largely. I had had a... Uh, well, anti-vax, is that a, is that a I was all right thing? Is that it's a far right thing, yeah. And it, guess what? It lost me a lot of subscribers. I made a video um, attacking people uh, that were race realists. I made a video going through debunking race realism bullshit, okay? A lot of the I times... Hold on. A lot of the times these videos were marketed in a way that did look offensive from the outside. If you see a video that says the truth about black people, of course that sounds I fucking... I have you here in November 4th, 2019 with transgender kids. It's time to stop. Prepare to be shocked. Today we examine the dangerous push by the left for transgender children to undergo early and irreversible transitioning. I was talking so about is, some niche. I was... No, no. So I was, was talking... October 20, 20... Okay, so I have a, a video, a picture of you. The event was at October 23rd, 2019. On your YouTube right now, November uh -huh. 4th, 2019, transgender kids, it's time to stop. Uh -huh. You were attacking transgender people. No, were, I wasn't. That's were, that's not you, true, actually. In that video, no. Right now? I'm making a point. Stop talking. So you here are claiming that there's this big push by the left to do irreversible transitions of children. That's actually this wrong. In that video, I talk about puberty blockers. Bait. That's not this true. Is and that, transphobic. No, thing. in that what I was doing, okay, as my channel, oh. what, hold on, as my opinions were developing and changing, I was communicating that in my channel in a way that would be digestible to a more right wing audience. If you watch that video, you'll see at the end, I actually talk about a good option for treatment oftentimes is puberty blockers. I was talking about these niche situations where there was like an, I think an actual like experiment done. I'm not sure. I would have to go back and look at the video, but either way, that was before I announced that I had formally left the right. And literally, so you were pushing, since... So what I'm saying is... No. So the, the thrust of what I was... So from my point of view, pushing a dangerous narrative that there's a bunch of leftists out there trying to forcibly transition children is garbage. That's not what I said. I don't... No, I don't that, believe that's what, that's what I said is, in that video. The video is I, about trying to highlight this... A move by the left. You don't say a move by a few fringe people. You say a move by the left. I was still, yes, I still identified as a conservative because then, you, dude. Because, yes. What do you not understand so from that? I under, what I, don't you understand that you were anti-trans 
when you were going to Turning Points USA events. Now, this is not me doing a purity test. This oh is me my, yes, first of all, yes it is. But so I'm that you've talking, moved I'm so talking. far away from the initial claim I'm, you made, which was that I was at this event attacking trans people. Hunter, the claim I made has been fully substantiated. I claimed you were attacking trans people and you were going to Turning Points USA events. Now you're right, you didn't attack trans people at that event, but a week later, you went back home and you published a YouTube video spreading propaganda that's used against trans people. First trans of all, activists. I would have to go that back to look through that video, okay? Is. But I that know for a fact is, that that was buddy. my that dude. Is what your legacy is. That's not now, even... guess what? <laughs> Hold on. Guess no, no. What? Guess Do what? I get a chance I to talk? To Do I get a chance to talk? You haven't let me finish a sentence. Every time I make a sentence, you, you start talking in the middle. So the problem that we're having here is that I would like you to change. But the first step to rehabilitation and restorative justice is for you to admit that these were harmful, these were dangerous, and you they don't represent you anymore. I, I would, would have to go to back to look. Every Hold on. single one of the I... videos you don't agree with anymore because that would be a substantial move. So first that would of all, be a substantial move for you. Okay, can I respond now, please, you Mike? You don't believe this anymore. I know you just to want to preach at me, but I also want to respond. I'm preaching. I'm giving you. I'm giving you an example of restorative justice. And all right, go ahead. Want, Give me the list. I'm going to write it down. You don't. That would be private the videos that publish ideas you don't agree with anymore. Okay. That would be the first step. All right. The second would be apologize for the bad videos you made, and third, stop making videos attacking feminists, attacking leftists that you don't know. You don't. I mean, you've never talked to. And then I won't have to go and point out that your one of your top videos is calling AOC an idiot. The one uh, your other top. First of all, I'm all not really worried about the AOC videos. thing. I don't have to agree with your like far your your like left stuff to be like considered rehabilitated. So we can move so off the AOC, AOC thing. So you think of AOC as an idiot? You think of I AOC would have as to again. I, these are older videos. I'd have to go back and look at. So let's actually go through this. You this... Know, yeah, because you want to keep that money rolling. You like that AOC hate money. Okay, yeah, I gotta keep that. money. Hey, Mike, can I talk now, please? Because you gave me a list, and I'd like to go through this. So the first mm -hmm. thing, private the videos. If you'd like, we can pull up my social blade and look at how I have already privated a fuck ton of my videos. My most Still popular- more harmful shit. I was Hold able on. to find one Hold right on. here. Wait, can you wait, please? Some of these videos that I removed had over 3 million views and I purged my channel of over 20 million views. Now, some of these videos that are still up that are kind of old that I might not agree with are not monetized. And uh, some of these videos that you're pointing to, like the transgender children one, that wasn't that long ago. I would have to look over that video again. But either way, your uh, assertion that I need to private videos, I have done largely. Now, I don't know if you know this, and I'm not saying this to be demeaning, but if I were to just terminate or like nuke every video, that would essentially kill my channel even more than it's already been murdered because I moved away from the right. So, okay, so your concern is your financial. No, yeah, the financial wrong. And personal no, it's that I cannot just. Them. I cannot literally. I literally cannot just nuke my entire channel. This has to be done in a process. Okay, and the next thing you said, apologize. The transition to like making left wing content. You you want to do it slowly. No, over I'm not. Time. I'm not like this is what you 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 think that I'm here to like try to make this like left wing content when that's not my goal. My intention here is to just share the way that my opinion has shifted. Okay, and a lot of my old videos that I had views that I no longer agreed with, I have privated and deleted them. And not only that, not only have I have I privated uh, these videos, I have lost subscribers. A fuck ton, by the way, nearly 80,000. I've lost money, okay? And I've made videos where I debunk these old videos. Videos where I talked about liking Donald Trump, I've debunked that one. Videos where I criticized trans people, I've debunked that one. Videos where I said that they're, uh, that gay people were weird or whatever, I debunked that one. I went through and I have debunked this shit, okay? So not only... Have I privated these videos? And not only have I quote unquote apologized for the videos, I have offered substantial responses and breakdowns of why those videos were wrong and why my opinions have shifted. So two notes on your list, I feel I have accurately uh, met those goals. Privating the videos, I'm still in the process of privating more. Like I said, it has to be done in a process. But if you want, we can pull up my social blade and see how many views I lost. Would you like to look at it? I mean, we can we can look at your social blade if that'll, that is something you feel is useful. I'm not going to control your, your arguments. Bring them up. I I, I think I think I think you're starting issue... to realize that you were wrong and that your attack no, was I'm really not, no. really uncharitable. 
No, you're a, you're the one who's been attacking me uncharitably. All right, Didn't so you make a hit video of me without talking to me about any of my positions. And you I'm supposed to hit you up before I make a video after you publicly yeah, you attack should. someone for charity. You Give me should. A your your like roommates was one of my friends, right? Like. It's, that has not like nothing we're, we're to do not, with anything, like bro. It's That's like fucking. It's not like we don't have bro. any connections. Okay. We're not like we're straight. We're total strangers. Hey, can you go back, please, really quick, and look at my social blade? I have a question. So the the month of June 2019, where you're pulling these videos what? from, what? you can hold on. June 2019. I I said there was one that was November you said 4th, the... 2019, which was after you okay. said. Can, can you please you keep going through? Points event. Can you please? After you went to your turning points event, you okay, posted can... a video attacking trans people. So everything I said is actually true. No, it wasn't. You did and attack trans people. No, what well, you're <laughs> after what you out said. Turning points USA people. Did you or did you not? You are so post talk justifying a statement that you know is but incorrect, is it right my dude. Or is it wrong? It's did wrong. You trans... So you didn't attack trans people. I want you to open up my social blade. Okay. Well, no, no, you don't pivot. This did is not a pivot. We were just after, on the social blade. You're the one that just pivoted. After going to a Turning Points USA event that you were invited to because you were alt-right, did you or did you not attack That's a lie. People? Poisoning the well right there. One, I was not alt-right. In fact, I was never really considered alt-right, even when I was pretty far-right. and You did were more just like, well, how would you describe it? Kind of like I did. Aso I definitely associated with people that were alt-right, and I fucking— Would you call Sargon of Akkad alt-right? Yeah. That's why I was arguing with him that entire conference. Another detail you left out, by the way, in your video on me. About whether or not you guys were getting demonetized by tech. And I was telling him it w he wasn't and that it was a conservative victim mentality. I've literally still defend those statements. That was the beginning I mean, I of my with fallout that. with I the know, right. I like the I agree with you with that. I mean, okay, great. So click my social blade core. now. I want it's you to look at core. something. Did you I link it to me? Yeah, I put it down in the, the chat okay, right cool, here. Cool. Okay, sorry. I, I wasn't looking at that. Okay, so cool. click this. And okay, you'll see, go down to monthly gained video views. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So first of all, you can see my sub growth. Yes, I can see your sub growth. You can see how great those grifter numbers are doing. All right. Okay. Um, yep. And then, yeah, you can go over here. You can see in June of 2019, I okay, terminated. So what, okay, hold on. What month did you pivot from the right? When I came out as being um, a, more of a centrist, it was, it would have in March, I believe, which you can see right before then and before that also. In June of 2019, I deleted nearly 12 million channel views. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that's more views than your entire Twitch channel has. Then if you go over here to the month of December 2019, you can see that I deleted another 3.5 million views. Then yeah. if you go over here to the month of July 2020, you can see I terminated another 2.8 million views. So you ask me to delete the videos. I have been doing that. Like I said, it's a process. You can see here that it's been still moving in a process. And actually, I've been gearing up to be to uh, start pur to, uh, bleh, to purge another batch of these videos. But nonetheless, okay, so most of me, these videos are not monetized. That's the most, okay, so you agree with me. You just want to do it the most advantageous way for your channel. My dude, do you think if I was prioritizing the advent, the, 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 my channel benefiting, do you think I would wait, have wait, ever— why are you, why aren't you answering, why are you answering the question with the questions? Yes because I think the answer, right? No, because I, I mean, okay, no. Then do yeah, it all no. Now. You, but then it'll kill your channel, which means you're so you're contradicting yourself. Either you're so you want me to because... nuke my entire channel? No, I think you should leave up all the positive videos that you have that are that are agree that you. Agree I would with. have to go back to those videos that you're pointing out to well, see I mean, if they the have any work, fundamental guess, disagreement that's that's that I the still hard have. Work of 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 saying that you're leaving the alt-right is to go back and review all the damage you've done mike saying, i've done this, I've done all this stop damage. it I've you're, done you're all gatekeeping this. again well, so no, what here's what you're saying Let, no 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 let's you what someone who is actually sorry i don't care for what, what they did would do like come on man were you is it true that you used to be a former republican dude this was before i was any kind of public figure so what is that is it true that you used to be a registered republican Absolutely. <gasps> People can change. Are you serious? See, what? I what? believe in changing. I believe in changing. Interesting. Wait, Arthur. you switched to being a Democrat just so you could run against the candidate that already BTFO'd your mom in the same race? Oof. That sounds okay, really so griftery, wait, dude. Wait Apparently, you raised over 50K? <laughs> Shit. First of all, I raised over 100K. Holy fuck. This guy raised over and 100K you know, by just switching you know, to being a Democrat. And you know sounds how, like something a grifter would do. Do you know who I raised it from? you know who I raised it from? Who? That would be Planned Parenthood. That would be the AFL-CIO. Holy shit. So you switched to the left be, and got a bunch of money and benefited PA. from this and got some no, publicity? No, mother, no, dumb motherfucker. That's the point. I actually did real work. 
campaigning with real people had the support of real I've heard your speech and I don't really I need it. What in, you're doing right I now wasn't is wasn't in Turning Points USA doing cancer shit after Bernie Sanders had announced his second campaign. You were out there. I've seen your propaganda. clips, man. I've seen you spreading you are... your bullshit about Bernie and oh, he's going to win and then you got really embarrassed way, when he didn't and everything way, else. But we don't need to talk minute, about any of this right now because what I you even were you even a supporter of Bernie Sanders? Um when in the general uh this last time no i voted for biden so you were never a, a supporter of bernie sanders and you're um no 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 that's not true no no no. i i like bernie sanders i did but you liked bernie sanders yeah. right okay you liked him in hindsight now that your friends uh are bernie sanders supporters okay you now my dude are you're jumping all around right now and what you're trying to do is preach to me and it's not gonna work so let's get back to what we were talking preaching. about first this of all your what you're of trying your to do so here's the thing about you, Mike. You no, are, you I don't want your psychoanalyzing your right now. You, you need to let me respond. At bad faith attacks on people's character. That's, That's what you're doing right now, labeling your... me a former fascist. Give me a fucking break. Former. Now what? I mean that. Okay. Yeah, that's what you former in quotes because you're implying that I'm still a fascist. Okay, I, I get. I, I think you're more of an opportunist. I don't think that you're a fascist. I, I get what you, you just I, kind of I do know what you think, Mike. You, but I just, I, I, just I really want to get back to what you're saying. So okay. you're you're trying to basically it's gatekeep. Okay. You're saying it doesn't count. It's not a gatekeep. My, no, man. yes, you are. It's you're saying unless you purge you your channel of every single video all at once, this very instant, then it's just because you want your channel to benefit. Why are you creating a straw man? Why are you creating a strong? Is that not what you just said? I never said purge everything right this instant, do it right now. You call just... me daddy. But what I Did said he is, not just say act... this? Okay, do you believe Hey chat, can we get a clip, why please? Do you... Wait, wait, why do no, you No, because I'm gonna why hold you, you to believe? your words because everything well, you yes, tried I, to deny. I gave you, a, I gave you an example. I didn't stamp my feet and say, do it all right this moment. I asked you why you haven't done it, because you agree that they're harmful, right? Your old videos are harmful videos, right? Uh, my harmful old videos I've largely removed. There are still some up that so I'm going to be removing. So up right now, you would say you agree no, with right No, not everything. So Stop. So you, You're doing so it again. are they harmful, or do you agree with them? There are some content. There's still some content up that I agree would be harmful that I don't agree with, that I'm in the process of still removing, Mike. That's what okay. I'm saying. So there are harmful videos that people are watching, right? Like some right wingers are still watching some of your videos. I don't right? know. I mean, I've, I've go look at how many subscribers I've lost. Like I purged my audience from far right wingers and I'm now purging my audience of just like sometimes even regular right wingers. Like, do you know how many people are calling me like a grifter, uh, right wing uh, or I'm sorry, left wing soy boy shill or whatever? Because now I think that like trans people deserve well, human rights and shit. To the, everybody to the left of Attila the Hun is a soy boy to them. So. I know. And anyone that's to the right of you, you call like a fascist. So. <laughs> incorrect you're you just created a i am not vouch talking about bush here okay first of I all every, i would like I to just get back to what we were i don't we call were... everybody a fascist and and delete the term i think sargon of akkad is a fascist I did you call me Donald a fascist Trump, i did i call you a fascist i don't know if I here we go again fascist, we're gonna right? we're gonna keep know, on I doing it I did or not. I dude you're you so right. fucking right. disingenuous no you didn't if i call it it's not disingenuous i literally don't recall if that's right you, you know fascist. what you're right disingenuous is the, is the wrong word you're did a I, uh did i call you yes here's here's the tweet quote the former fascist with values to the right of antonin scalia okay. this is you put former yeah. in quotes what do you think that means former yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You were alt-right. No, no. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. I think, so I think when it's you put former in quotes, fascist. are you not trying to imply that what I'm doing there is... Why did you delete that? That I'm still uh, tweet, a fascist. By the way. Why did you delete the tweet about burning flags is as cringe? I clarified as... because the, why, for the same reason that? that I think that burning the flag is kind of cringy is the why same reason that I deleted the, the tweet cringy? because why I think that because I think that the messaging cringy? can sometimes come across in a way that harms uh, the potential to grow your movement. And in this case, as a public figure, I have a responsibility to make sure that my messaging is interpreted so properly. The flag, should that be illegal or is it no. just, just cringe? Notice how you cr cr uh, criticize me right here. He's wielding the cringe baton like every other right winger online you seem That's very what you do isn't it isn't hold that on. what you do hold on wait 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 stop. isn't that what you do isn't that what you do in most mike of your videos? i'm like, making a broader point and you're not going to just cut no, in no, here no, and no. gish at me okay you i'm asking you isn't that what you do in most of your videos you what you do is you find someone as a target he's literally you can't you, you do pivot so much oh right? god Okay, I'm gonna have to gear up. I, I have to remember how much like how much you pivot. So you've made it very well known, okay, mm -hmm. that you don't like the use of my word cringe. Do you think that saying something's cringy is the same as advocating for something to be illegal? No, I didn't say that. 
So why did you say that I, I share the position? Question. Hold on. You in your question. video, you said I share the position with Donald Trump and then played a clip of Donald Trump saying you should go to prison for burning the flag, something that I myself have criticized Donald Trump for. So I was – that. first of all, that's not what I did. I explained – Do we want to go back and look decision. at the clip since you're should, denying should, everything go, that you've go done? And, go, go, go and watch the clip. Okay. I was showing the context of why the difference between burning the flag and pledging of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance is done to every five-year-old in American schools. It's That's also really weird because then you went on to like brainwashy. Why are you talking? It's disgusting and tore down a set. Children do the leftist pledge of allegiance. Everybody who's not an American looks at that and goes, "That's fucking weird." All right, hold on one second. But it's a position. Donald Trump is out there, and the Republican Party tried to get a constitutional amendment to make it illegal to burn the flag. They I know that's really fucking flag. bad, and I criticized it. They have arrested people. They have assaulted people for burning the flag. All right, I'm and trying Anton to watch the clip Scalia, now. So can we hold on one second, please? Decision, and a five-four decision, Anton and Scalia. All right, hold on. Hold on. Sided with the liberals. I know. I'm, I'm very glad about that. I, legal. I've defended this multiple now, times. You're, you're preaching to you're someone who already agrees with you, my friend. Out, now you're out there saying burning the flag is cringe because you're because of who you are. No. Can, okay. And you don't understand. The <laughs> can we just watch the, the clip, people? please? Because you're just preaching to me, and I'm begging you to just shut up for a minute so I can watch the clip. This is not trying right. to make arguments. leftist organizers and radical people right now, marginalized. So you know, you while I show my Fuck you. you. I'm gonna have to show my First chat. First time the, you've ever heard them. No, no, I have to show my chat the the clip here where you said where you tried to compare my position to Donald Trump's. So do you want to hold on just one second? It's at the six minute mark of your video. But the capital, fuck you. And the other thing is, I got to tell you that this is a position that's shared with Donald wait, Trump. Wait, wait, are you playing? This is a position that's shared with Donald Trump or by Donald Trump. That's what you said. That's the quote. Hold on okay. one second. Let me watch. Let me watch the clip. OK. Hold on one second. You're, you've got such a delay on your stream, so it's really long. I do have a delay on the stream. Yeah, my Internet sucks. It's a position that's shared with Donald Trump. I'm going to have to literally write down no, every... Right. No, no, oh, no, that, that... So, first of all, Donald Trump doesn't think they're equally as cringy. Donald Trump thinks burning the flag is obviously should be illegal. So that's not a position... Sh now, the idea of... So it, are you admitting the then that that was a little cringy. bit of an unfair... What I would say ...comparison, is, because obviously say me saying something's is, cringy is, isn't the same? What I would say is he would agree that burning the flag is bad. Okay. And you agree with Donald Trump that burning the flag is bad, right? I mean, That's I think that no, no, no. I, this is called a little bit of hyperbole, but go on. Okay, so when I can, I can literally. I don't know shared. how much of my stream you saw, but I, I wrote out like a little explanation. So maybe if you'd like me to read it to you, um, what I said is that um, leftist. Oh, you change your position after you got a lot of pushback, and the no, guy was like, no, this, this is another lie. Cheap. I'm so glad you brought this up. Okay, great. Now I get to make you eat your words again. This is great for me. You Thanks. didn't make me eat shit. You didn't make me eat shit. At all right, all. hold on. You We're gonna go ahead over to this one now. We're gonna go ahead to. Uh, Here's this video. If I was Hunter, I would drop a tactical N word right now. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time, I'm sure. I have. Nope, that's not even true. Again, that... trying to poison the well. You would such... defend the right. To All right, hold on. Wait, right. stop right because you made a claim that was wrong again. And we're going to keep on going through it. I don't care. All right, go to the uh, three minute, 12 second mark here from a video in June 22nd, 2020. All right, hold on. Where I say the right, same on. thing. Keep watching because I also clarify that it's bat that it's a constitutional right and people are allowed to do it. Okay, this is good. I'm listening. <laughs> Did you play it? No, I'm I'm I sent it to you. Oh, you sent it to me. Okay. I'm waiting for you to watch it. Okay, hold <laughs> Sorry, on. Sorry. What, what's the what's the clip? Where where, where is I it? I sent at? it to you in your Discord DMs. Okay. Uh, it's the, the truth about the Trump at three and... minutes. Okay, three minutes. Go, or right, three minutes, cool. twelve seconds. I need to put this on. A As I watched this right, clip, three I was thirty seconds. You said so. No, three minute, twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. And you really, you really researched your old clips, huh? I research my content when I'm get, when I know right, that I'm going to get bad right. faith fucking actors. Incredibly disappointed. I 
don't think burning the flag is appropriate. I think it's douchey and rude, and I think that the people who do it tend to be stupid little rat weasels. So I get it. I don't like burning the American flag, and I understand that there are a lot of people here that are trying to be patriotic, so they take offense when people burn the flag as well. Okay. So However, you hold on, keep watching it. Wait, did keep... you play the clip? Did you play the clip on your on your stream? Did you play it where I said it's the constitutional right? It is right? your freedom of speech. No, no, no. Uh, it is your you freedom of expression. Your it is your I'm constitutional right, right, right to right, burn on. the American it flag. It is your constitutional right to burn the American flag. So, so, no, no, the point was that people that burn the flag are what? Weasley? No, no, you said... Cringy? No, on. Rat Weasley? Rat Weasel? Yeah, yeah, he said... Yeah, so I think that a lot of the times it kind of turns into a, a meaningless the gesture that, that a lot of the, the times people, people don't understand. But people that's not that the point. It, the point the people here... People that do it are weaselly little rat... Stupid little weaselly... That's not the point, buddy. Stop, okay? Tend to be stupid little rat weasels. So... So your claim who here burn was... People flag are stupid little rat weasels. Hold on. And you're saying this is you're not a so Trumpian position? You're trying so hard. Is this, you're trying so hard right now, Mike, and I appreciate it. I do, okay? But listen... Your wait, claim so wait a minute. just so you stop. So you are so Mike, you do think burning the flag is stupid little rat weasels. I wouldn't do it. I don't advocate for Can it. You tweet that I, right now. People that burn the flag are stupid little rat weasels. Hey Mike, I know that you're like Can trying you to like back me, me into something that looks optically <laughs> no, no. bad because that's like all but you care about or something. But are. hold on, this but, is what but, you no, no, claimed. No, no. Your claim was you switched your position when you got pushed back, but. That's that not clip. a switch position at all, my dude. What are you I, about? <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Great. You've conceded my point. Thank you. Your claim was, quote, I... you switched your position when you got pushback. But from this video that you can see from last year, you can see that my you position. You switched your position. I said, go tweet. The people that burn the flag are weasel little rat weasels. Just take that quote from three minutes. Wait. And did go you tweet it right now. And did say, you not make the claim that I switched my you position when I got pushed back? your position. And now you tweet. Wait. Now you tweet, my... now you've, so your former position was people that burn the flag are weasel little rat weasels. That's your, that's your position. And that Hunter. it's a constitutional right. And that I was disappointed oh, in Trump no, no, for no, no, advocating no, 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 for that. No, 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 you leave that part out. First tweet, of all, now your tweet is, then you change it. If you're okay, pledging allegiance to the American flag by default, you have to be okay with burning the American flag as, uh, also. Yeah. That's not what you said. You said people burning the flag are Weasley little rat weasel. That's not what I said in my tweet. That's I said they were cringy. You changed your position. That yeah. Well, I mean you've. You, so you've the claim was that I changed my a, position. I'm still defending attack. the first position. All right, and I actually don't think those positions are all that different. Second of all, so you, you can go so back. So would you say it? Mike, did you say right stop. now that people that burn? Just say it. Just say no, people that burn. No, it's bothering me because you're not letting me get a word in. You're you're coming say on it. here. Say it. No. Say it. Say What's it. a tiff, Mike? Say What's it. a tiff? Please tell me what a tiff is right now. You're doing the thing, okay? Would you like to know? Dude, just, I know just, what it well, is. Just, just say you it. Switched. Just say it. Wait. Just but, say it. Just say it. Just say they're Weasley. Do you think you just look say good they're in Weasley. this? Do you think you look good in this conversation right now? Like trying to like you... <laughs> pressure me to say something? Is this how bad you want a concession from me? You recognize <laughs> well, the, the reason you're trying to dwell on this subject is because you realize very, very clearly that the claim you just made has once again been proven false to your face your claim and i have this written down because i know you're going to try to deny it was quote you switched your position when you got pushed back and by me demonstrating that this clip shows that i have the same position then that i tweeted now proves that i did not change my position when i got pushed back second of all the updated tweet why you can did you delete the tweet I already explained because i didn't feel that it properly articulated my what i wanted to to come uh to uh, the, the, the message that I wanted to convey. What, what was what? Pro, what sure, what I'll read this to you right here that I that I wrote this out. Okay, leftists yeah, I, perceive the flag as representing the country as a whole, and oftentimes find a pledge focused on justice for all hypocritical when this country doesn't always fulfill those promises. This is a valid criticism, but burning the flag does not accurately communicate that criticism. When moderates see the flag being burned, they see it as an attack on liberty and justice for all, and in turn, you diminish the potential for growing your movement and appealing to a valuable voter block. Who could agree with you if you communicate? your points better symbols are only as valuable as what they communicate and if they are only communicating your point to your own group who are already agree with you you need a new symbol this is why a cab is also a stupid slogan with a potentially valuable underlying it, message well, can you say that again a cab is a stupid slogan yeah slogan? i'm pretty sure what you else? believe that right you, don't you kind of no agree? not at all oh not are, at all are what you I sure about, about that ACAB, what i said about a cab was that it's not probably the single best uh, way of appealing to moderate voters 
But I would absolutely agree with the content of what it says, which is that police officers exist in our society. And what do they? What function do they serve? But I thought they, that you said to Destiny to that you would never no, say a cab. That's not what I said. I mean, maybe really, maybe, uh, you never said that you wouldn't say a cab because okay, it doesn't back, appeal to back moderates. In 2019, what, back in 2019, as a politician, what? I wouldn't Wait. say a cab. <gasps> and has Bernie your Sanders, have your positions Bernie changed Sanders. in the last two years? Wait, no. are you admitting to being what? a grifter again? <laughs> Hold up, buddy. What? I'm gonna what? send this over to you. I, what? So here's, what? here's I'm gonna the, send this over to you real problem, quick. Okay. Here's the problem with you, Hunter. Is you're confused about what my position is. My position mm -hmm. is not that. Yeah, you I'm can't the one change. who's confused here. I got you. You're, All right, I'm gonna send I, this over to you really quickly. Dude, you're not even. You're not gonna let me talk. So I need to meet. This you. is at the 24 minute. So mark. what needs to happen? So what needs to happen is I'm gonna, gonna meet you, you now position. too because people, I need to show this clip can first. Change. People can change. People can change. That's okay. They can do it. Uh, so. Are you saying you've changed from 2019 when you've said that you wouldn't say ACAB because it would ostracize moderates who could otherwise be on your side, which is literally my position with both ACAB and burning the flag, which it sounds like you already admitted previously that you agree with me there? No, uh, absolutely not. All right, so absolutely I sent you this not. at the 24-minute mark. Absolutely not. Okay, check it so out. You, so, you, so the difference is I say that there are positions that you may or may not articulate to certain audiences depending upon the context. Mm -hmm. However, I absolutely agree with ACAB and the arguments behind it. And Just it's an, like I said, it was a valid argument criticism. that comes that argue, No, that's not what you said. You said that you said some Weasley thing about how uh, people have the right to do it, but it's bad to do it because of this reason. No, I, I said this that position. it's inappropriate. And it has bad optics usually, it's not but it's still a constitutional all, right. So we're going to go to the. It, it depends. Okay, we're who are go you to judge optics? We're going to go to this. Oh, I know. Who yeah, coming from you? the optics master himself. Okay, Tiff well, Lord I, I Mike never, from PA. I, never I know, buddy. To be the optics master, by the way. I'm just asking. That's who good the fuck because are you that would be another people? lie on top of your mountain well, 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 of lies you've already that, told. Okay, dude, so let's go you, back to on, this man. one. We got your on. I, I melt snowflake shirt on right now. The optics matter. Yeah, you're hey. a snowflake, dude. And guess what? There are right wing <laughs> snowflakes and left wing snowflakes. Sometimes it happens. Shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Dude. Coming from the we guy that argues like a conservative constantly. Wait, Listen, I want you to, <laughs> can you please just click this clip, please? No, no, we should hang out. We should hang out. No, I'm afraid you would you punch my out? couch. Okay, so click, please. <laughs> I'd put something. Um, no, so let me ask Mike, you. So I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. I, I, I'm on I my hands and knees you. begging you to click this point? clip. No, you finished multiple clips. You've made multiple points and I haven't been able to. I'm going to mute you while we look at this clip. Can we look at All right. So Mike's saying he didn't say this. So let's go ahead and look at what he said controversial not really. I don't even no, think based on what you said like in most in, in a lot of places in the united states yeah of course i would agree with this for sure and that's but 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 the a cab thing like you're saying mike do you do, do you say a cab and i i personally wouldn't because i'm trying to get actual progressive politicians elected and i recognize that for normies mm -hmm. a cab is so world-shaking mind-bending of a statement oh, to make God. to them that they're going to rebel oh, and you know why you that done? is because Are you back? working no, as yet. a police officer is one of the few okay, remaining jobs we're still watching you make my point but it's okay from like okay, a poor or middle class background where they still, get a secure pay, they get benefits. So they probably know some police officers in their uh, family or extended family. Cool. So if I come up to them and say, hey, white person, a cab, I'm probably alienating people that I could win over. That's all. Okay, telling... we both agree then. We're both anti a cab. Okay, I, well, I, you, yeah. But, yeah. Well, so your claim was if I went up to a white person and said, hey, a cab, then I'm alienating people I could win over, which is the exact claim and justification for my initial tweet and why I said that a cab is ultimately a stupid thing. I also agree, by the way, that the police system is corrupt and delivers very racist outcomes and needs to be addressed. I don't so think the proper is, way is, to address okay, so that now, is by screaming a cab. You Holy agree fuck. with me, Mike. And then you know I don't. And you didn't let you you stop you stop the clip so early because I go on to clarify why it's important to defend a cab as a concept to people. Oh, this is so Oh, what, that's right cuz I watched this where you were like trying to have both sides, right? You where you can were like You have both sides. You could have us. It's called being it's called What political, my point is, that's okay? a political strategy. It's a political it's strategy. Important, it's important for you to go out there in your audience right here and go Instead of what you are doing, which is, this is cringe, let's attack the activists, because that's where you made your bones, right? What activists? What you should you? be doing, what, what you should be doing is explaining to your audience, who care about politics, hopefully, that what ACAB represents is this, this, and this. So it's a surprising slogan. It's a slogan of the street. It's a slogan of activists. And it's going to surprise a lot of people who grew up in the propaganda that 
if you're in trouble, run to the cops. The cops are there to help you, especially white people from the suburbs. This is who such don't a privileged perspective. Police who don't encounter police that much. If you're from the suburbs and you're white, you're treated differently than I people with this. inside you're the inner again. city. I'm not I preaching. Know this. A I've point. Deba- I've you debated, may know this, but I've the audience exists. My we're, we're audience has heard me to your debate audience. systemic racism repeatedly. I have debated systemic racism. But if you, bl- if you believe in systemic racism, then you should defend things like burning the flag in ACAB. I do defend because of what it. Yes, they it's represent. a right. And it's, it's people's no, you say right. they're cringe. You say they're cringe. You it's say cringy. It's right. I wouldn't do it, but it's still their right to do it. So coming from the guy that's saying I but can, that's not, that, you're saying that, okay, I can be against a cab and pro a cab at the same time, but I can't no, say it's cringy, but also no, a right to no, burn the flag. No, give me a no, fucking break. That's dude. not what I said. I wasn't anti a. See, your your ability to comprehend arguments is bad. We just watched the I clip said, where you said I, I would never say a cab. I would. First of all, this is a different context, which is November 2019, which is well before we've had these new movements. Which I've supported Black Lives Matter oh, for literal on. five fucking years. I was out there in the street for Black Lives Matter when it had twenty percent cool approval virtue signal. In the That's pools. great. Meanwhile, but you've probably pushed signal. more people to the far right than like some of these right wingers with how fucking uh, like despicable your l- behavior listen, is. By the way, look, listen to you. This is this is listen to you. I have Dude, a question you for are you. are literally a profiter off of attacking people doing kiwi farms as content. I don't care That's what why you have say, the channel Mike. you Your have. Your criticisms That's are, are you meaningless have, to me, my dude. dude. It doesn't true. matter, okay? So hey, I have be a better true, question for bro. you. When you it talk about... It doesn't have to be true. So do you still agree that when it comes to these things like ACAB or burning the flag that like it doesn't matter if you appeal to like moderates? Like do you realize... Mm-hmm. Like that, that was a claim... <laughs> That was a claim that you made in your video that like who cares? It do- not everything has to appeal to like the white suburban right. moderates, That's which right. I not I, everything does. You're right, not everything does, but some things. Right. For example, movements trying to raise awareness of racial injustice so, should. Wait, wait. So you, Hunter Avalon, fresh from Turning Points USA, is going to ca- coach Black Lives Matter how they can appeal. You're the I'm one telling to tell you them. no. So I'm the te- reason, no, no, so no, the people no, no, that are stop. on the street, you're putting words in my mouth again, or saying a cab, or saying Black Lives Matter, they are being actively oppressed and disenfranchised in the society. So and you... so, when somebody who understands that, like you claim to, encounters people burning the flag, and you have an audience of moderate white people, instead of turning and saying, "Ooh, that's cringe," they shouldn't do that. You should turn to your audience and say, "False." You put words in my mouth again. I never saying. said they shouldn't do this it. See how you saying. can't make an argument without if it's literally cringe, putting words in my mouth. If something is cringe, what is cringe? Is cringe good? Is cringe good for the movement? Uh, no. Can you stop being a weasel and just wait, admit wait, wait. that when I'm... you say something is cringe, you say it's another way of saying it's bad and shouldn't be done? Wrong. That's no. If I say it's cringe, it doesn't so, mean that it shouldn't be done. And it certainly doesn't mean that oh, it should so be made cringe illegal. Cringe things are good. Cringe things are good. What I'm trying to point out to things. you, Mike, when is you the fact that when cringe, you say you're actually we saying don't... they're good. When I'm saying when you to call you, someone Mike... cringe, they're actually saying that they're good. Okay, gotcha. What I'm saying to you, Mike, is when you make these claims like, who cares if you say a cab or burning the flag and if that alienates people, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I'm telling you that that's a privileged perspective because, of course, I recognize that optics aren't everything. But if you want to garner a movement, you have to communicate those points well. And I think a great example of this is BLM. You see how now that BLM has this national attention because it appealed to moderates and got all of America but, but, listening. Black Lives Matter we're now was seeing not, actual did not policy appeal to moderates. Of That's wrong. Black Lives Matter was, in fact, extremely unpopular with white moderates. Extremely unpopular with white moderates. I mean, nationally, but, though, this, they have moved nas- the national conversation. And oh, it's not even about... They, but they didn't do it by appealing to but uh, to appealing to white moderates, they did it by getting out on the streets and making demands and being visible. And that movement and caught protesting. the attention of it wasn't many, many because people. White people once we actually... well, it wasn't because white people did it. It was because people of color led a multiracial movement on the street. I'm it saying that for the first time there were moderates that actually were thinking about like systemic racism and having that conversation. So the and moderates did it. The moderates did it. No, but I think that it's important to try and appeal to a large, especially a large voting block. And yes, sorry, I know. No, we don't like it, but white people are disproportionately in powerful positions to enact change. So it's pri- appealing wait, wait, it's to that to a degree. <laughs> so the privileged position is the privileged the one that per- says don't care about white opinion. That's privileged. No, That's the privileged, the privileged position ca- is That's who cares about position. optics, even though by getting more national attention, which in part is done by having more or less decent optics, you shouldn't compromise principles for optics, but by having decent optics, that's how we see real material change 
for marginalized communities. So what would you say not the material change Not by you getting was. up on what Twitter. Was, what would you say the material change is for the Black Lives Matter movement? For right example, now? Joe Biden and his infrastructure plan, I believe he's planning on investing billions of dollars in some of these black communities that have been otherwise um, harmed by, I think, previous racist the policies. The infrastructure plan, which one? The bipartisan one that hasn't passed or the reconciliation bill that hasn't passed? Well, there the was one that made it through so may far. Pass in the well, future these, is the one that's caused the systemic change. So the, the hypothetical bill that may pass. The, the bill that is literally talking about systemic racism because of movements the like one BLM, that didn't pass, right? The George Floyd Justice it, it has and not Act, passed it. I, I thought it's still going through. Is it still? It is hasn't it, passed. It's it hasn't passed yet, right? Because they're going to filibuster it. Okay, what I'm saying is that your perspective doesn't lead to actual change. What about your perspective? It didn't achieve any change according to your. It's metrics. closer. No we law actually was passed. hold on. We actually have legislation and now an administration that's constantly trying to pass legislation to ameliorate some of these issues with trying systemic to racism. Trying to pass legislation. Yes, that's is not a lot better than burning change. the American flag and your privileged ass advocating for it because you're, who cares what anyone else you? thinks Look about you, this? Dude, you're a white. Guy. Where do you live right now? I'm not telling you shit. What are you trying to? What are you? So you live in a white suburb, and you've always and you grew up in a white suburb, right? Did you? No. Why are you trying to invalidate me? I I grew grew up. up. up I grew up in military bases all over all over the world. I'm not from a white suburb. So wrong. Try again. I didn't say you were. You were the one that made. Yes, you did. You asked me all questions. You said I was privileged, and I asked you, "Did you grow up in a white suburb?" And you said, "That's not the privileged part." The The privileged part is you, Mr. Streamer Boy, saying, "Who cares if we appeal to moderates when appealing to a broader audience is crucial for actually getting material change done?" You don't so care about that. What, you so care about you LARPing wanted, to your so audience. There, and that's why you've gone have, back on everything you, have you you've ever said. Read Martin Luther King's letter from the Birmingham jail. All of the. Have you read that before? Do you know I what I'm know, talking about? I do know what you're talking about. What does he say in it? He what says he white moderates are what? bad. That's why we want to reach no, out to those say people. No, he white moderates. No, no, no. That's no, why no, we no. want to reach out to those people and try to get he them on your side, come Mike. He said that the regrettable conclusion that the white moderate is a bigger, bigger stumbling block to progress. So how do you get rid of the white moderate? Planner or the white citizens How counselor. do you get rid of the white moderate? Please tell me. And the guy who says to wait for a more convenient season and just quiet down. Uh-huh. It's so what do you do with the white moderates? What, how should you do of... that? How should you reach those people? Should you just so kill them? You should you just ignore even... them? What do you so do? I, the reason why I brought up that Martin Luther King quote for you, where he talks about how the white moderates are the bigger stumbling block to progress than the Ku Klux Klaner and the white citizens counselor is because of exactly what's happening here. You are out there going, it's cringe to burn the flag. Don't And, and the thing is, the energy for these movements is on the street. It's a multiracial movement. And the people burning the American flag and saying ACAB it may not appeal as a politician. It may not be a great message to win national office. But if you are a, a you're not a politician, you're an online influencer. To you're not, so who the fuck are you? Why are you trying to police these people? You should be out there educating I'm not to more of your everyone. white moderate. I'm trying to talk to you, you be, about your position and our, my position. That's my position it. You're the one is very to clear. To my position is very clear. You're the one calling it cringe. Now, when you when you call something cringe, you're going to back away and say, well, I don't actually mean to say that it's bad. I just mean to say that it's bad optics. So and people used there. to say people used to say that when you were still a right winger, they were saying that, that about Black Lives Matter. Did you make any videos about Black Lives Matter? Multiple. Yep. And I made a video debunking my old video on Black Lives Matter that used to be anti BLM. So you said that BLM was what? So could you could you explain to everybody what your arguments used to be about BLM? No, I'm not going to Why do not? that. Because Why I, not? Because I've just looked up uh, Why are you Joe cowardly? Biden's $2 trillion infrastructure plan, and it does have a lot of interesting uh, does... intention on trying to solve— You understand that a plan re- is not a law, right? Do you realize that a plan is a lot closer from our current president Bernie Sanders in our legislation, too. right? That doesn't you mean realize... that they're reality. But you realize that that's a lot closer than whatever the fuck you're advocating for. So it's I'm not advocating. I just want to make this very clear. Like I'm not right now. I just want to make this very clear. Like I'm not advocating for respectability politics. I'm advocating for electability politics. And I think that sometimes you have to make compromises. If Correction. You Mike yourself Pierre, brought up. Is it perverting MLK? No shit. You yourself know brought up about. MLK. Like your talking, hold on. You yourself brought up MLK talking about the white moderate. Now I agree. The white moderate, the person that doesn't think there's these big issues to talk about. They're annoying. They're fucking. They are. They they can be a disservice. So you have to reach those so this people. Is what, okay. So you this have is, to reach this those disgusting. people, Mike. This is disgusting stuff because Black Lives Matter, when you were attacking it, was saying the same stuff they're saying now, and the difference was 
people rose up because they saw things like the George Floyd mur murder. And that was, a that. that was a, that was a one thing too far. And they didn't come out and they didn't, it didn't cause people to come out on the streets because they stopped suddenly saying a cab or they stopped saying defund the police. By the way, it was a movement defund the police or abolish the police that rose up during the George Floyd protest during the black lives matter protest. The okay. So I have a question. Then. Swung toward them, I, even though they were more radical than they were when they started. But this back just, in Ferguson. I don't understand because that's this is what just... actually happened. People because the, because of the protest movements on the street and the people demanding change that resulted in people having to confront. And through the example of the George Floyd murder, white people were forced to confront the oppressive policing institutions and they started to change their opinion about what black lives matter may they thought like you did when you were a right winger that black lives matter was just i don't know what did you say they were race hustlers or something like that is that about right um that they were people I just trying to, yeah, to you can, you divide the at, country you can go look at my um, video where i debunk it if you'd like because i go no, through no, and give a I constructive just, debunking of that old position why won't which you by just the way say, i used to the... hold this position so we could have a conversation why do you have to hide because the ball for, about what your old no, position no, was I, i'm not trying to hide the ball I've been very open about my old positions. Most of my content now revolves around me debunking positions that I once had. I'm not that hiding the ball. Like it's that hellish this... to me, but I'm glad that you're doing it. Good keep, thing keep that it up. good thing that that was on your list of what it would take to rehabilitate me. So good yeah, thing I'm doing good. that, keep right? Keep working on it. So keep working what I'm on wondering it. though is you when you won't be a cancer on the internet. Gotcha. When you these... Fully deleted all your inter... all your so shit videos. So these statements that, you made. that you've made though about like a cab and everything else, like it just it sounds completely contradictory to what you said to Destiny That's on not November twenty first. 2019. That's not you always, said I wouldn't say it because it'll reach. Why can't you? Why are you so dense? Because why you, you so dense? said that you wouldn't say a cab because a it might alienate I people that could be ACAB. valuable to your movement. I wouldn't, as a politician, say a cab, and no politicians are saying so that. So, as a politician, even Corey you wouldn't Bush, say it because you recognize even, that it does harm, and it actually does no, like uh, uh, it pushes people away that could be valuable. Okay, but when people just say it in general, it's not a problem. Oh, no. Okay. This is good. This is a good teaching moment. Okay. There is different roles. Teach me, Mike. Social, I'm being educated so hard right now. Change. I wish you would listen. There's different roles within social movements. You have street movements. You have activists. You have organizers. You have the public. You uh -huh. have politicians. You have movement leaders. They all have different roles and different rhetoric, right? It's the job of the social movements and the activists to pressure their aligned politicians to organize with them when they when the agitators and the organizers are out in the streets talking to the public they have a different voice i don't care martin about luther king jr and malcolm x had a different voice than lbj do you acknowledge that sure but i so just you're, this is, but, this is such a massive pivot what, from like anything this like, is not a pivot this is basic sociology basic movement organizing i guess i'm I want, just wondering I want why you want to talk you. about my old but, views by the so way much. do you disagree like, why don't you do you disagree with me wait, wait hold on hold on i just made an argument and you just gave in you just folded without dealing with what I said. Do you agree that there is a different role between activists, organizers, movement leaders, and politicians? Yeah. Do you think that activists can have a pretty significant impact on how their movement is perceived? Of course. Okay. So great. Now it sounds like you so just you're saying that. Position. Wait a minute. So Martin either way, Luther it doesn't King matter. Jr., so in your opinion, Martin Luther King Jr. was damaging to the civil rights movement? No. Did I, I get you to say, say that? Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is that? this? No, you're not going to get well, me to say that, Mike. Because he was very and for unpopular. Someone to claim, so, so for you Hunter, to claim dude, that Hunter, I am Hunter, being Hunter, bad Hunter, faith Hunter, in this Hunter. debate, to what, try to get me was, to say you, I don't Martin like Luther MLK. King Jr.'s, what was Give Martin Luther King Jr.'s? What was Martin Luther King Jr.'s approval rating from white people? I don't at know. At the time, and I also you don't, don't care. Oh wait, 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 wait you don't. Okay. Have all okay, this is, I know okay. that it was so low. This is very good. I know it was low, Mike. But I'm not here for a history lesson from that's renowned genius that's, Mike from you PA. Need a history, I'm here you need to try and talk to you about the claims. That, because you're not no, understanding. No, I'm not letting you get away with this gish galloping bullshit. This is not. A I want you to come back to the topic. I'm comparing the, topic the, the Black claims Lives Matter movement with the civil rights movement and martin luther king jr who we revere as a beloved figure now was unpopular by white people in I the past i know that i recognize that that so doesn't take away from my over... shit as the white no that did i'm during not the civil this doesn't take act. away yes, the are. overall point that it's important for making real change that there are times where you want to play in to electability politics i'm not saying it's never appropriate to burn the american flag necessarily i'm also not ever once saying that people should be locked up for burning the American flag. All I'm saying is, generally speaking, the way that most moderate individuals who could be on your side, your words, 
the way that they see the flag, they see it representing something that leftists might not agree with. There are better ways that you can communicate the goals of your movement without burning the flag and generally giving fodder to fucking like Fox News to claim that you're like American hating activists or whatever. I think that there is just a a What do you think of what do you think of uh critical race theory? There's an there's an entirely better way to go about that. And that's so all my agree point. With and the, you're so, trying to back okay, so me you into think, a corner so to think, say that I don't like MLK. It's no, no, absolutely the reason, ridiculous. Okay, I Obviously, you optically know that that would be bad. But your position, as stated now, is very similar to the white moderates that Martin Luther King Jr. argued with during the Civil Rights Movement. I urge your community to go read the letter from the Birmingham jail. Go look up Martin Luther King. Google it right now, all of you. Google Martin Luther King Jr. approval rating. And you'll see that at the time, he was very unpopular. Now, and now, BLM has been very unpopular, like and then it got more popular, and it now it's so popular, popular that it it's electable for Joe it Biden. And now all of a sudden we get, see legislation. Get, no, 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 no. Joe Biden is not a BLM guy. BLM got popular not by moderating, but by being bolder and getting on the streets and having activists saying bold shit. And when someone birds an American flag, the first thing that people ask is why? Why is that person burning an American flag? There are chuds, you're right, and you are in touch with how chuds feel, who they don't have a mental process. They don't go through the part of using their brain. They just have an so emotional reaction. So do you think reaction. there's ever a time that, that burning the American flag could be cringy? Uh, poof, no. What if someone's not. burning the American um, flag and then they go up, someone goes up and they're like, hey, why are you burning the American flag? And they're like, I don't know. I just wanted to. I think that's a fucking based reason. Good. Um, okay, gotcha. A better reason would be the millions of people that we've killed wanton wantonly around the world, or the fact that we have the highest prison population, or the fact. I mean, there are a million other problems. I, with the I recognize States that, but America. do you think it's possible that but, maybe someone who doesn't, who isn't quite as uh, like terminally online as you are, might like see when the flag is being burned, and they might interpret that as meaning dude, something different? Wait, wait, you're accusing others of being terminally online? That's I'm your entire you life, of being terminally online bro. Right That's now, your entire sure, yeah. life. See, terminally but online, see, I you asked mean, a different question, and now opinions. you're not actually answering the question. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, Earlier, you, you were giving me a hard time for not answering the question. Now which you're not question answering. was that? Is I, I answered it. I said there's no time when I would find burning the flag in and of itself to be cringy. I'm asking if you think there are ever people who might when if they were are to see the flag being burned might interpret that as being something that might not be meant for like like might not accurately uh um uh like encompass the goals of that movement then so what i would say to that is it, it depend that is a different role there's different roles in these movements i don't think you comprehended what i said before I asked you a question was, was there a difference between Martin Luther King Jr. and LBJ? Do they have a different role? Can you just Do answer they have my different... question without like, a long rhetoric. speech? Yes. Because I'm just really curious about that. Because this, I know you're brain dead. You can't, under, you can't hold a sentence or two in your head. But let me help you. The Rather answer to that is... You, by the way, that's not very good of oh, a good first leftist of, all, you, of you. You used... You, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't you... I thought you said that I had a mental disorder earlier. I thought oh, you I'm were sorry. Okay I thought that, that we're I'm holding sorry. you as the almighty gatekeeping uh, leftist at a higher standard. So... I, uh, honestly, uh, honestly, I'm okay with calling uh, certain people brain dead. I, I don't get offended by that. You can cancel So you're okay with ableism directed um, at people no, you don't like? No, ableism is bad. Damn, uh, that ableism doesn't really bad, sound but like a very good I call I think brain dead was okay. Let me just say this. That doesn't sound like a very good... And this, by the way... You're you're posturing towards canceling because this is you can't actually contend with what I'm saying. Please, please, please. I know if you try, if it's you really, you're, really you're try. you're falling on deaf ears. Like I'm. If you're really, really, the try, last person you can that's going to change it. my mind on this issue is someone like you, Mike. Someone who has been so. so incredible. You just declared you just declared yourself bad faith. That's a no. statement of bad faith. No, I'm. That's, that's a statement. Oh, that do you says think you're do emotional. you think that you've been bad faith in this conversation at all? Not at all. You don't think denying that you all. called me a fascist when you literally blatantly said it on Twitter? I you said think... former fascist because you were formerly alt-right. Wasn't former in quotes? Uh, Yeah, former. So what is that supposed former. to mean? Former. Isn't it implying because that I still am? Because the first am? thing like, you do is you're going kind of around. The not real part. Exactly former what I'm fascist. Exactly what I'm talking to you about right now. When you're going around saying burning the flag is cringe because you are famous, the fame that you do have, because you made cringe vid videos about feminists fat uh, uh, acceptance activists, left-wingers, AOC, LGBT people. That's not where you got your fame? You made a bunch of cringe compilations of those people? I'm just, I'm wondering why. Isn't that what you did? Isn't that your I'm, background? I'm sorry, Mike. Can I you say yes or no? That was my, I reject it, but yes, that was me. 
I mean, yeah, at one point I made right wing content that I've heavily denounced and debunked on my channel repeatedly. What do you want from me? So you're so you're doing the same. Th so you're calling people that burn the flag cringe, which is in line with what you used to do. That's so not. I pointed out that you're doing the same thing you used to do, but saying I'm reformed now. You can't say I'm all right. So even here's I'm the doing problem. The same shit I, did before. I think I think here's where we're having like a fundamental disagreement here is that. You want to kind of talk about the the uh, initial like argument, but I'm having a hard time even getting to the meat of the actual point because I think that you are like a complete weasel, scumfuck liar who has never lied, lied about you once. Who has lied about me repeatedly? I just I just proved that you were attacking trans people after you went to that turning points event. My and dude, you, were, you, you pulled now up you, one video that you, you didn't even not, watch where I supported you puberty blockers was, when you, you, you your claim well, no, no, was, no, 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 no. You said the left is pushing uh, irreversible uh, transgender uh, reassignment for children. If you I'm not mistaken, a right -wing I think one of the things I was talking about was actually something people. irreversible that happened. But I could yeah, and, and I'd have to go and back you, and look. But I guess yeah, we can you go back actually and, right. You're actually right about your attacks on trans people is what you're is that's you're going to be your position, right? Let's uh let's go back and remake that video. I'm going to go back to your video now and see if if. Uh, see, so you, you know, if no, you're but I think, telling me the I think truth at right the now. end of the day, I think at the end because of the I'm day, because I'm pretty sure you also is, called me a fascist in this why, video. Why are we pivoting away from what we were talking about? Which we're was not. We're the, you were saying that burning the flag is cringe, and no, I no, said no, that the, that was something a right winger would say. And I'm telling you that we can't get to that conversation because there's been so many lies told about me that I don't what, think what I can. What was the I, one lie? What was the one lie? One, you said I was. Uh, criticizing trans people at the Penn State thing. Not only did you say that at twi on Twitter, you said that in this video as well, if I'm not mistaken. And that's why I'm going to pull up this clip I said right that, now. Too. I said that you were going to turning point events so well, and criticizing because he was transgender in the teenager people. brain space, which you were. You were criticizing transgender people and you were going to turning points USA events in 2019. Equally as cringy as punch, So you can't, all those SG. elements are true. You no were way. going to turning points I'm events. Kinda, I'm not really listening to you right people, now. Just making so you know. fun of trans people. And it was 2019. If those you, are the facts about your life. Agreeing and those with, will always be the facts. Let me tell you life. something. Always, forever and ever, you are Hunter Avalone, the guy who attacked trans people so in 2019. What? Okay, that was I think very part cute, of you, impassioned speech. I'm sure your audience right now, full of dipshits, are. is loving it right that's, now. I'm sure they're eating it all. Are, now, yeah, Mike, moral Mike. He's so change. great. Oh my God. It doesn't mean you cool can't change. Is. Oh, wow. It doesn't mean that you can't change. It doesn't mean that you can't be better. The thing is, is tell, I'm staying on one point and you're trying to. Don't tell that I'm trying to stay on one point and you're trying to move all over the place. I'm not a liar telling the truth about you. That's not lying. I'm burning the American flag is cringe. All right, let's kind of find Fuck you. That's the truth about you. That's who you are. That's great. Okay, hold on. Bringing two speakers to campus. I want to try to find where you said that I was criticizing trans people in the speech. Because it, 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 this is important to me, right? Because, well, hold on. Let's find the clip first. So, uh, uh, so uh, anyway, Hunter. Hold on, wait, 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 wait please. Want, hold on, hold on. Uh, here's Avalon what I I know you don't. I know, I know we're impassioned blogger. right now. You don't like me. You think it's going to play well with Vasha's audience. You, that's your no. hope for, that's hopes for YouTube relevance again. No. This I want to just... reach out to you and say, let's, you know what? Let's leave this all aside. No. I'm, I'm hurt that you would attack me. You're and hurt you that I would attack you now. You did attack sir. me first. Oh, That's does. fine. I'm willing to leave that aside. There it is. And say, I think in your heart of hearts, Burning you the wanna, American you're a good guy. Well, thanks. And you were led astray. I think in your heart of hearts, you're a good guy. You were led astray. And you're trying to figure out the world. And you're doing it publicly. And I give you credit for that. I actually don't want to cancel you. I don't want to chase you off the internet. Really? I don't then want why to did call you, call you a, a professional grifter and call me a former, quote, fascist and then imply heavily that I was criticizing trans people at my Penn State speech? All, okay. <sighs> you didn't criticize people at the Penn State You're doing State it speech. again. You're doing the thing where you but suck you up did. to the person. I'm not sucking up to you. What you I'm are. doing You're to you. You're sucking up to me I'm right telling, now. I don't like I'm it. I'm trying to, this is called a reproachment, where I'm trying to tell you you can divert course from what's going on right now. I'm willing to help you change and say that you are not a bad guy. But if you're going to go out there and just and throw out attacks against people, you can't be surgery. surprised when they're like, why is this guy? I didn't even make an attack talk. against I've, people yes, with you my absolutely tweet. did. You absolutely did make attacks against me and people who burned the flag, which is associated with left-wing right, activists. On. I'm going to try to pull up what by you the way, said this. Hold on. This, uh, this little... And Dude, you're so to concerned with narcissistic is that injury right now. With... 
I'm not concerned you're with that anything. I I'm, am bad uh, that I'm making you that I'm saying that you're a fascist, that I'm lying about this and you're nitpicking one thing when you know <laughs> you were still alt right at this point. When you were going no, to turning point, you wrong. disagreed with you disagreed with the thing about the unfair censorship. My dude, I, I talked always with gave Vosh you that point. at the end of the year, at the end of I think it was the beginning of 2020, where I explicitly said how like I was really uncomfortable with how many like alt writers seemed to be in my audience, and I was purging my audience of that. That was the beginning of that. For you to claim that I was alt right when I was you still going still to the TV making, events, but you were still delusional. making the same content no. for six more months. It's maybe bullshit, you talked about, my dude. Maybe you start to have internal he conflict. when he was literally a, a and I understand that. Maybe you started I didn't making conflict, his videos publicly as a content the reason, was so, the same shit, the, right? Like, come on. The Wasn't your public that, content mostly the same stuff? The reason that I'm so intent no, Just on, answer the question. Don't ignore the question. I was am going to ignore it because I wasn't really listening because I was still grazing through this clip because everything that you've said about me, when I ask you if you've said it, you deny it. And then I have to go find the clip to prove that you actually did say it. So oh, the reason that I'm so ob obsessed, I guess, if you will, with finding out that, you know, you're lying to me and my audience here when you say you didn't say these things is that I think it shows what kind of little research you put into your videos. You know, if you jump up on your high horse and LARP in front of your dipshit audience that you can get a There's bunch no of cheap LARPing. brownie points. Yeah, you this know that you can get a bunch of cheap brownie points when if everything you had so I've much as typed. Substantive. If everything you, I've, been, everything I've I know, said is substantive. I know, that's what you I think, dude. But if you had I so much about as... The but letter from the Birmingham jail, all you've done is insulted me. You just okay. insulted me the whole time. If you had you so said, much I'm never searched... going to listen to somebody like you. You're cringe. What's the tip? I didn't that even call was you cringe, you, That think. is actually... And that I still want to know what a you... tip is, but if you had gone and actually Act... searched my name, Hunter Avalon, you would see the okay. first article that comes up. I, I want to teach you I want to teach you what a tip is because it's about politics, which I presumably... Already know what you... I looked it up after the, the, the thing, okay? And I looked up sewer socialism, too, so shout out to that uh, one, too. That's good. I'm glad. And yeah. do you understand why that was relevant to why you wouldn't vote for a neoliberal candidate in a no, primary? No, I would always choose what would actually get something done or move closer to our goal than what you do, which is LARPy fifth, bullshit. The guy who finished so again, fifth out of fifth... By the way, I've elected so much more as... people, to, people to local and, and federal offices... And statewide offices than than Vouch. Okay, so if so, you had so, so much I've as typed my, re, my name, you in? called me a LARPer. You're you're a fucking turning points guy. I've actually Am got I people elected to offices. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So I, I'd like to actually no, no, no. Address you, that. I'm sorry. You were you were you were just one of their content creators that no, the right wing true. billionaires this highlighted. Was... Okay, and the Penn State, Pennsylvania Penn State. Um, this is a lie. Turning point chapter brought you in because they thought of you as a right winger. That is what. So, and so you this was the TP. Hold on. This was know. a. They didn't know. They thought you were just going to do the same right wing. So shit this was a. This was a TP. Hold on. Carl this was a TP from, USA uh, like chapter. Okay. So I was not mm -hmm. affiliated with Turning Point USA in the sense that I was like I was not being paid by were them. Were you paid? No. Were you paid nope. for the speech? No, I was okay, not. Okay. So they just. And you know what? Was in Carl? fact, there was. I don't know. Was Carl but there paid? was. I don't know. He came over from the UK, so they probably paid for his flights. I gen. I I don't know, but I do know this that. At one point, I was paid from another place, PragerU, to make a video that was incorrect information about uh, gender. So you know what I did is, one, I took down that video, and two, I donated that money is to a pro— down from, Is it still on PragerU? Can I go find it? Like, can we watch I, it? I don't think so. Uh, no, 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 because I was paid according to the views it got from my Instagram. So I took the money that so I made from— it wasn't from... a PragerU video, but you were paid by PragerU. <laughs> I was paid by PragerU, and it was like a shout out for PragerU and how, shit. How many? How many? Like, uh, is there like a big network of of? This is something that you actually might be useful for you to do. Is like exposing this stuff. Like, well, so I'm trying to big, explain how when I did big, actually like, right profit, I then donated that. that money? Mo so I donated that money to a pro LGBT cause, right? Because I realized that it would be wrong for me to try and make Which money. Which one? Off um, did you like have... post a receipt or anything online? Yeah, yeah, or... yeah, 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 I did. And I, did. I, can I, and I can also, I put it in the name of uh, another guy who was calling me out for it. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I can try to find the uh, the receipt in my email if you want. No, I mean, listen, I believe you. I'm, I'm not trying to say that you're lying here. I, okay, but I just it, think it, that you, I just think that you're coming at me with like all this hostility when you were the aggressor in this in this relationship, so to speak. I called and you out for what I, I thought point... was. I called you actually what I lied about it because I never once, I never once attacked Vash. I never said his name. I never said his his fundraiser was bad. Gotcha. I was specifically just talking like you never called me you, a former by, nationalist. By the way, by the way, just like you the never way. said that no I was clip, speaking no at the thing Vouch. about trans people. There's no people. clip of me saying There's no clip of me. But you, but you, and a bunch of other Vouch hangers on tried to associate what I was saying as if it was some big attack on Vouch when I was specifically talking about 
something that I find creepy and other content creators have called out, which is this charity is so paying far removed streamers. from the conversation that no, I no, no, just no, no, no. don't but care. Th but this is this is the context. You launched attacks that were bad faith, lies about me, including doing a cringe compilation where you lied about my relationship with somebody else. I didn't make that cringe compilation. That was someone else's. Well, cringe but compilation you played it. You put. Uh, but and you then put I it at the beginning. Thing. Why did you do it to poison the well, right? Because I thought it was funny when you went up because and you were was, like, "It was wait, 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 wait." You poisoned. You thought the well. it was cringy too because you cringed at it yourself when I, you came up to because, Bad Bunny and you were like, "Because we were hanging out." I was just out. trying to get your we were, attention. It was funny because because. And here's the thing that's funny about this. What like you are mischaracterizing shit. You put it up there to poison the well because you okay. do the cringe. Says stuff. the guy that called me you a former fascist. Yes, you are. You by your own you admission. Me you're former, former in quotes, right. dude. Are you? Are you? Are you alt right or not? Were you alt right or not? I don't know what to this do like anymore because I want to end this conversation. But I know if I do, I you're going to accuse me of rage quitting out or something. Well, but no. I well see. I'm trying to have you do one substantive point. One. But it's all about your narcissistic injury, whether you feel like I called you a former fascist, but you admitted you were alt-right. Of but you course changed. I've admitted that. Of course I have. Duh. And then that's you like said, half well, Mike, I didn't attack trans people at that event, but I did attract trans people the next no, week. No, I but never conceded justified. that I attacked trans people. That's a lie, too. You said two different times that I what attacked trans people. What is this video? People. I just pulled it up. I'm going to go this find this clip. What is this video attack teenager brain What about the video? I'm going to go find this clip. It's not about the video, Mike. Did you not make a video attacking trans people after hanging out with Turning Point? One, no. Two, this is called post talk justifying. Because you made the claim, both on Twitter and in your video, that I attacked trans people at the event. When had you done research, you wouldn't be in this tough situation now where you're stuck trying to post talk justify, looking really weasley in bad faith to everyone watching. It's, you see, here's and the instead, thing, you're you just, just doing said, ad hominems because this is a joke, because you know mm -hmm. I'm right. You did attack trans people after your turning point shit. That's, you if you still, had said he, you he spoke at turning TPUSA, then out attacked right trans people. Videos 11 months ago. You that's not true. 11 right months ago, videos. I was debunking those right-wing videos, so that's another you lie. Literally I can't have, even have I a could, conversation on, with a guy that's so right fucking now. disingenuous you're, at okay, this point. Dude, you're calling disingenuous because you know it's a fact. No, I'm you calling it disingenuous because you won. shit right here. I'm looking because, at it. Hold on, because feminist this entire comedy. time, one, you're trying to find some saying, kind of a what, flaw Hunter, so that you can gatekeep in purity check. Two, you're claiming that I... you played the clip. You played it again. You said feminist comedy is like gay... Uh, Muslim rights. They don't go together. You I said it's like said Islam that. and gay rights. That. And then did you see what I said to and, respond to that and, clip? That's from 11 months ago. Yeah. You said and I, I, I recognize that, that your audience, but that was 11 months ago. No, no, no. That's within Stop. a year. Stop. We were talking about That's right wing propaganda. Stop. That's we were... fucking vile shit, dude. Don't you agree? Mike, save the posturing for later, okay? You're wait, not is gonna it get... vile or not? Wait, wait. Is that I agree that that joke was bad. Yeah. I wouldn't make that joke now. What's the punchline? What's the joke? Can you the, explain the, the joke? Yeah, the joke, the joke, the joke, sure. The joke was that, generally speaking, in Muslim countries, gay people aren't usually treated very well. Now, in hindsight, would I have made that joke? No. Would I make a joke like that today? You didn't say no. Muslim countries. You said Islam. I know. Would I make that joke like you today? Didn't say is you didn't say Muslim countries, so you're lying. So about now it's really was. important what, what every intricate word is. Mean? Oh, my God. I'm What's explaining what it is. Islam and gay rights. The reason I was getting at that is because... Mm. So do you recognize that I, I can explain the joke, but at the same time recognize now that, yeah, that wasn't a great a good joke to make? And when I, I say that you were within see, a year you're not letting right me respond. Shit. You're not even making it. No, 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 yeah, I, I that can agree That wasn't a right-wing right right video, now. first of all. I would have to... I, I, the, the video it's where not, I was... Wait, wait, wait. Doing the, a cringe compilation of feminists is not a right-wing video? I'm, and I'm what pretty sure it was in that video where I talked in? about the difference of pop feminism and, and genuine feminism. But again, I'd have to go back and look at... And what you world just are you living in? Wait, what do you on. think feminism is? Why are you unable to let me actually talk? You keep saying I haven't made a point, but every time I try to talk, you don't let me talk. So that joke that I made was wrong. And I think that it's bad because it leads to negative outcomes. I think that Muslims are already a marginalized group. And jokes like that literally do, literally do play into harmful narratives. So in hindsight, would I make a joke like that? No. Do I think that joke was wrong? Yes. Is it also factually incorrect considering that most Muslims in America at least tend to be more progressive? Also, yes. So there you go. Changing your mind, and like you just said, apparently okay, you have so a lot of hold on. Apparently that. you have a lot of respect so, for me because I've changed my mind publicly or whatever. Well, I, but I don't have a lot of respect. Going through the for process you, of changing your respect. Okay, gotcha. Going through the, the process of changing your positions and your opinions, sometimes it's gonna look like that.
a process. Sometimes there are going to be certain jokes their or their voices I make time. that I don't agree with at this point and vice versa. It just seems really disingenuous of you, someone who has already claimed to destiny that you're not for cancel culture, to try and dig up these old things from my past to try culture. and hold me to them and then be like, I'm look, you haven't changed. Culture. You're still a former fascist I, or whatever. I, I'm not for cancel culture. But when I see you tweet, Oh, uh, I need clips from Destiny Debates two years ago so I can try to refute him saying this about me after I launched an attack on it just people seems who really burn the flag. You. That's, That's all. It you. just seems like you agree with There's my position ultimately on like the optics and everything else. I don't so, like, agree with your position. All right, well, I know, I know, because you don't, because you're, pop, are you live right now on your channel? No, because I don't need your shit five years. Oh, okay. Why, uh, well, okay. I didn't know. I just thought for, if anything, it would make sense considering, like, you know, you kind of want to virtue signal your audience. But I don't need the right. virtue. So, so and, and this is, by the way, your right wing talking points. Here you are again. Virtue signaling. You've been posturing uh, this entire time. Posturing. You try to hold me to, like, every single word I've said. You've denied saying things that we have tweets of you saying. Like, come on, dude. This is, this no, is a joke, all right? No, 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 no. At the end of the day, it's just, I think that we have some day, unreconcilable okay. differences. What are and those I think unreconcilable that what it, differences? What are those unreconcilable Yeah, you're a bad it's, faith weasel fuck. And you're, you're someone that fuck. never you're delivers liar. any positive criticism. You're a liar. Everything you have said I, has been I, false. I, I, if it comes out of your mouth, I think it just becomes false. Literally, it's like and, and it's this way, bizarre thing. You're like a lying machine. That's everything you need to see. That's everything you need to. That's everything you need to know about Hunter right, Avalon. Right, I will see you later. You, you have a good rest of your day. I'm gonna hang out now. Okay. Cowardly little bitch. No, I don't want to hear yet. I want to hear him insult me. Who hides? Who hides? When I'm I said you. Went to a Turning Points USA and you were attacking trans people and you went to Turning Points USA. You attack trans people That's within a week. Teenager. You have, That's a, why you have a video did so well because he was. All right, he's muted. I'm gonna just I'm gonna go find this clip and then I'm not gonna unmute him until I find it because I'm sick and tired of him making these lies up. Hold on. Yeah. Making his videos literally as a teenager. That's why Hunter Avalon did so well because he was in the teenager binge. And at, or a ball. American flag is not the most effective means to cringe in the teenager brains. He was literally a, a teenager. Eight suburban. And the other thing is, I got to oh, tell you, you bring it up over here again, maybe who you the fuck you are yeah. in an area where why don't you go back to Penn State and talk about the truth about transgenders. Okay, right there. Perfect. All right. So, Mike, I've unmuted you now. Right here at the 11 minutes, you say, why don't you go back to Penn State and talk about the truth about transgenders? Again, implying that my speech at Penn State was on some attack of, on trans people, which so is just so untrue. So you're still focused so on this untrue. point. So you're saying it's Because it implied. shows what little... It's implied, but you did do it. Hunter, because you it did. shows the what little research you, you do. You published, it shows you what little research video, you do but, before you actually like even talk about but, uh, these the segments. The research is right. You published a video claiming that the left is pushing for ma for irreversible transitions among trans people as that as children it's still up on your channel we already went over a this. week after a, so it doesn't true? matter but this is even true. if that video hold on That's you realize true. that even if that video so was point, actually anti-trans then Hunter, your statement the would point still is be that incorrect you attack trans people and we're hanging out with turning point usa and now you're out there telling people that they're cringe if they burn the flag that's your mo is the same shit you used to do when you were attacking trans people and videos you still profit from up nope. right now. Mr. I'm a sock dem. We well, I'm not a sock dem. I'm a liberal. What's what's your positions again? I'm sorry, Mike. What are your I don't think I don't think we're going to have this conversation anymore considering that you I are now think denying the end of the day is in when, two when different you clips. A, when you get a politics, both... when you get a politics, when you can actually articulate your views. Alpha Mike Hit me up with the why lesson. Why don't you? Why don't you articulate your views? What are they again? Hit me oh, up wait, with the lesson. Say, Alpha Mike. You don't Hit know what your Oof. own views are. Okay. Hey Hunter, <laughs> what are your views? What are your views, Hunter? What I don't are know, your but views? But they're definitely Hunter? higher than yours, bitch. All right. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That was a headache. Watch the video with him. We just did. He, he, it's falling on deaf ears. This is. It's not gonna. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.